everybody, my name is Frankie McDonald. You're listening to Simcast with Chrissy Meyer from Frankie McDonald. I want my baby back, 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 Nick Gers. Um, I don't know names. I don't even remember my mom's name. If you were telling me you're my mom, I wouldn't remember her name. Like, I'm really bad with names. How do you look? When you say my name again, I don't even know if you heard me. Nick Gers. Thank you. Why? Why do you have to call in like that? Why do you have to call in like that? I, that's, that's not a good caller. It's a horrible, horrible caller. Right, I'm going to play you a little song. Nick Gers! Oh, Nick. Me Chinese, me play jokes, me put pee pee in your cup. What's up, Vivek? Hey. Whoa! <laughs> Look at this. What's up, guys? I was craving a Slurpee. <laughs> Can I get my change back correctly? You know, we'll. Uh... I feel like a lot of us are conservative in the way that we just want to be able to say the n-word and not really matter. <laughs> you know, that's like, all you know, i want come on <laughs> is that so much to ask can't i just say the n-word does that make me a bad person <laughs> <laughs> come on guys um violet's oh. a huge fan of yours she loves sensor yeah, tv mm-hmm. oh great i do i she, love your show big fan she, all she wants is to be able to day. say the n-word but that's the only thing that's holding her back in life yeah. Oh, it just, you go like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the dog. Dumbass. I'm taking the dog. <laughs> He's just happy to have the attention. Aww. He's just happy to have the attention. I got tired of my scheming. Enjoys cold beer and hot music. Says that uh, he and his mom don't see eye to eye on his love life, and he claims that his job has cost him several relationships. Please welcome Robert Faggot. Faggot is rather an odd name. Yeah, you know, it is an odd name. Speak does not make you intelligent. Now get out of here. No, no, Mrs. Stay. Mrs. Cotchata. Happy world, dancing with day, bitches. Happy world, dancing with day. Happy World Dancing Dream 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 Day. Happy Monday. Happy Day. Wednesday. Happy Day. Thursday. Friday. Happy Day. The weekend comes. My cycle hops. Just kind of get it in there. Fill it in a few different times just to kind of get it a real deep color. And then kind of go in here at the bottom.
people yay welcome to simpcast your favorite sunday night youtube show and even if it's not it's gonna be it's gonna be it's i'm here it's gonna be a spicy show my nipples hurt uh they're they've been chomped on for 10 days straight i'm feeling fired up i'm feeling excited uh before i bring in our fabulous gorgeous smart wonderful cast of characters uh i want to do a quick shout out and thank you to everybody who donated to my give send go we hit the target uh we hit five thousand dollars i think this was we hit five thousand dollars just as the baby was crowning i feel like it lined up perfectly <laughs> so i really want to thank everybody who donated to my uh help chrissy mayer build a studio fund um I, i'm gonna get started on this asap I don't know how much the baby can help in terms of like putting together furniture and setting up equipment, but gosh darn it, I'm going to try. I'm going to put him to work. So we're going to get going on this ASAP uh, and I will get those thank yous out and I'll get that. I'm going to have some kind of a plaque made with everybody's name who donated a hundred dollars or more. And I'll, I'll send everybody a little, a little thank you, but this is so exciting. I can't wait. I can't wait to pick out my my paneling and have fun shelves. Uh, so this set will be a little bit transformed. It'll, it'll be more up against the wall. And there'll be a second set for in-studio guests. Ca really respectable looking couch is what my vision is. Couch, chair, something I would not be embarrassed to have Jordan Peterson sit in is the vibe. I'm thinking leather-bound books, this mahogany smells. It's going to be very, it's going to be very classy. You know who else is real classy? Uh, this panel of gals coming in hot tonight. We got Cat Canada, Forest Mommy, and Exit A Girl. Hi, Hello. ladies. I Hello. feel so out of it. I feel like I don't know what's been going on on the internet. I feel like I've just emerged from like an, a deep underground lair, except, uh, the lair is a uh, postpartum depression <laughs> and keeping that thing you have to keep them alive and it's nuts at first you're going it's nuts what you're it doing it is nuts it is so nuts nobody ever said like yeah you're gonna have to you're gonna have to breast sorry if this turns people off but like no one's ever like hey yeah you have to start breastfeeding right away and guess what nothing's gonna come out like and and you won't know what's coming out if anything for uh, a while so you're just kind of like, I don't know, this baby's sucking on my tit, but I don't know if anything's happening. How, how, <laughs> how old is the baby now? 10 days? He is, uh, I guess, gosh, 11 days old. Yeah. Good job. Has he, he you're has he started now. pooping normally? Yes, yes. The, okay, the, good. The milk truck has arrived. Milk is in. Yay. <laughs> It's scary though because there's a couple days where you're like, is it? I don't know. It could not. You know, it's one of the lactation ladies at the hospital was like, well, just think about it as like pipes in your house that have never been used before. I was like, I don't have any unused pipes in the house. That's true. Sometimes prefer... hot water takes a minute to get to the upstairs, though. You know, so that's like what that. it is. I have I have rusty old I had rusty pipes. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know you gotta let the brown water run for a while before it's good and you can oh my god <laughs> that's what's been happening yeah just let it pipe out. haver you're a pipe haver that's your i don't know any yeah. i have such respect for everyone who's ever given birth i think moms should get a whole month fuck pride month i think there should be a mom's month like the whole thing is just it's a miracle we all got out alive you know what I mean? And I don't know. Maybe I had like a more traumatic birth than the average bear, but uh you just have to like have such faith. I was the whole time I was like, I'm so glad I'm not in the Sudan. I'm so glad I'm not in a fucking tent somewhere. Like, I'm so glad <laughs> yeah. I can just go uncle and get the epidural guy in here, you know, before he leaves for the day. He had no sense of humor, by the way. He did not laugh at my joke. Yeah. Man. He came 10 days early. I meant to have a whole hospital set list. I was going to, I was going to, were you going to live stream it? I wanted to. And then I ran it by one of my doctors. I was like, what do you guys think of like, what is, do you think the hospital feels about maybe like a, a little live stream just of myself? I'm not going to go around like in people's rooms and shit. <laughs> 
and they were like, uh, I think people like to be videotaped. People always act different. And I was like, yeah, but you do it enough times, you get over that feeling. <laughs> I don't know. There was one, there was one nurse at the end who we kind of told, told them my deal. Like she was like, uh, hey, when you guys aren't making babies, what do you do? And Frank was like, oh, well, Cr Chrissy's like a, a national headlining touring stand-up comedian. She was like, ha, 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 good one. No, really. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you should Google me. I was like, oh, please don't Google me. God. <laughs> and then I was told that the nurses are not allowed to Google the patients. Which I'm like, how is that even possible if I was a nurse? I worked at an Upper East Side all-boys prep school. We Googled we googled these kids like not the kids but we googled the parents because we had a uh, bridget moynihan came in with her kid uh it was before i worked there but baron trump interviewed at this at this school everybody's looking up these people so i just found it hard to believe oh that nurses are just so they, much they better than the rest they of don't, us yeah but they they do if they find out information like when we get celebrities that i don't know which most of the time it's sports people i'm like don't know who that is of course i'm gonna google them what if <laughs> someone comes in with something up their ass and you're like we gotta google this person <laughs> only if i know they might be fa famous i guess you can call it or known yeah. so otherwise it's too many people to google i asked every nurse and doctor who came in like if they watch medical dramas and they're like oh no like they all had passionate feelings about that They're like oh no hmm. uh this is this one i'm kind of watching now with frank's dad we kind of binged it the other day and someone did have something up their ass that's why it's top of mind for me right now but <laughs> what's it called uh i i can't remember i think it's called mom no, brain. I don't. mom brain <laughs> how much longer can i use this mom brain excuse for i think uh, this is just my regular ass brain forever you're you're a mom forever Maybe somebody in the chat will know um, the, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know where it's based. I know that they're, and it's not Grey's Anatomy, obviously. It's a newer one. The chat will know. It's it's where recently somebody, like, they jumped off the roof and they crashed through a, a like, a, a boardroom while they're having a meeting. It was really, um, it was riveting. <laughs> <laughs> I like glitch. Well, that's a lot of information to go off of. <laughs> it was a medical was show. There was like stuff happening. There was like a nurse doing there something. Was, okay, <laughs> now I remember one of the episodes. There's a black nurse and she's very sassy. But, duh, of course. <laughs> and she hoards medicine at her. You know, she lives in like an underprivileged area. She likes to help out like the underprivileged people. Like she basically runs a fucking uh, like urgent care out of her apartment like she's just got draws and draws full of medicine that she hoards she hoards the samples the free samples from the hospital and then she just uh someone will, a neighborhood kid will come in with like a something wrong and she'll just dip you know she'll dole out medicine and stuff the resident yes thank you thank you half irish it's the resident and i i'm it's riveting i really love enjoy the show but the nurses and doctors at the hospital uh, did not so I I like uh I don't know if I told you guys, but I had a little bit of a 4 a.m. like walking around the hospital crying moment. But before that happened, I, I went to the nurse's station. I just was like, what's up, God? I was just I really wanted to chat everybody up and like see. Were they grumpy? <laughs> no, they were good. I think I could have been a really good nurse, X-ray girl. I oh really no, I think, think you would have been a great nurse. You're I very think didn't do comedy like i'm kind of fascinated like i'm okay with blood but i'm not okay with like i wouldn't want to be cutting open somebody it's it that for me is not even what would freak me out it's cleaning people's butts and yeah and puke, and puke oh butts or and poop puke. Mm -hmm. or puke so, yeah like if you don't deal well with those three fluids you'll never do well <laughs> And some people aren't able to shower, so you might have to shower them too. So just like that, that's me. I that. when my mom was about to die, I showered her once. Um, not about to, yeah, but it was a like a sponge couple bath, months. not a shower. Just remember. Okay, that. no, she. It was like we were both standing up in the shower. I had a bathing suit on. She was like very sick, but she was like hanging onto my um, 
shoulders and i was like it was crazy it was this moment where you're like you're so sad because my mom was in like such a state you know she's got fucking mm-hmm. terminal brain cancer but i was there's there's this moment where i was like wow i actually have to take a washcloth and like wash my mom's cooch and i just i remember thinking like Nothing has prepared me for this moment. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. But you did uh, it. Was I was supposed to do. Not I, a lot. I, it was timid. I was a, I was tentative. Anyway, sorry to bring the room down. Um, <laughs> now back to boobs. <laughs> Yes. Talk about okay. wiping your parents' ass, you know. That's just <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> yeah. You gotta do. You gotta do. That's the thing. It had. It was rather me than dad because, uh, like, he didn't have a gentle touch of any kind. So I was like, uh, I think I could have been a really good nurse. Especially there's a nurse that when you first go to the bathroom after giving birth, like it's, it's supervised, you know, because they got to see what's happening down there. And there was a nurse who was like just squirting water at my cooch. I was like, this is your job. <laughs> <laughs> this is part of your job. <laughs> I think I laughed at her while she was doing it. Cause I just was like, <laughs> so sleep deprived. Um, it was fun. It was really How long were you in labor for Chrissy. I was, I went in on Monday thinking they would boot me right out. Cause I was like, I basically was dragged there. I was like, I'm leaking. Not a big deal. Frank was like, you really should call about that. And I was like, eh, no. And then I called and they're like, come in. We'll, we'll probably just send you right home. I was like, you sure? I don't have to bring a hospital bag. I don't have to bring my like hospital outfit. You know, they're like, no, just come in. No, I went in. They're like, girl, your fucking water broke at some point in the last two days. We can't let you leave. In the last two days. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. I didn't tell you x-ray. It's I went in on Monday night. And I noticed I had been like basically like leaking like all day Monday, all day Sunday. So they think it maybe maybe it burst on Saturday. Who knows? Like I always expected just a gut, like a dramatic gush, but it was just like, like the leak. movies. No, yeah, it's very inaccurate. I wanted a Hollywood water break. And, uh, <laughs> I was so annoyed because I didn't I didn't have my that I was gonna come in with a fucking feather boa. I was gonna have a grand entrance. I was gonna have a smoke machine. <laughs> it was ruined, and then I had to it's stay like there. You were leaking. You were leaking so Monday, for days. And then they let me go um, Friday at 11. So it was like longer than I expected. A full, almost a full week. Oh my God. Yeah. And then the birthing really got going like Tuesday, Tuesday evening. And then he was born at like quarter to three on Wednesday morning. Wow. Did still- anyone win the pool at all? That you're Someone pool? did, but I don't. I can't recall his name. Maybe his name was James Lynch or John Lynch. Gina would know. But I don't, I would have never guessed uh, the 10th. Never. Because everyone says, oh, your first one's going to be late. It's going to be late. And then I, I was late. I was a few days late when I was born. So I was the fourth one and I was late and I was 11 pounds. Oh, what? You were a big See baby. How the f- oh. what? Your poor Hold mama. On, you're, you're only like 11 pounds now. <laughs> you're the <laughs> only person I changed. know who was a big baby but a tiny adult. I don't know what happened, but my dad's also proud of it. He's like, I would walk around and they'd be like, there's the dad of the 11 pound baby, like all proud of it. 11 <laughs> pounds. Did your mom give birth? Did she- natural? Was- yeah, yeah, natural, but I was number four. Good for so her. <sighs> Oh my left. god! Was... So you walked out of there? <laughs> I did. I looked like a three month old. Like I looked like a full grown baby when I came. There's out. no oh way. You're, yeah, you weren't in newborn clothes. You're like in straight up, probably three month clothes. Yeah, I looked like the Michelin Man too. Like when I was a toddler. Oh, like, wow. I don't know how. How did she see? That's a that's a hero. Someone <laughs> squeeze out at eleven pound. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a jack-o'-lantern that's like <laughs> every time i look at this baby's head i go that came out of me like that's bigger now he's got a big little noggin <gasps> tug is here Yay! Hey, i'm so sorry I'm here, I'm here i'm here what are we talking about all i came in and you were like this baby's head is so big and i was like oh it's that kind of a stream okay oh we're talking about <laughs> yeah. babies i know I'm... <laughs> Isn't it crazy? It is so crazy. I'll never get over it. <laughs> but 
I gotta say, I am starting to lose fans over this birth story because I think I've gotten a couple of negative comments. People, we well, have to it. talk about it for like a little bit, you know. Look like at this! Look at this comment. God, look at this. This is my full <laughs> labor and birth story. Water broke early. Look at this comment from Damien nine six four four. Mayor, not a fan of you anymore. Trash. No. Not giving birth. He gave birth. Giving birth is the least the least trashy thing I've ever done. Okay, his so name is on board with this. Okay, his name is Damien. He has <laughs> zero room to talk. Mm -hmm. His name is Damien. You have to watch. Why is he watching if he doesn't like it? That's what I don't it wasn't. Well, that. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't like the middle school video that they make you watch, like the miracle of birth. Oh my god, <laughs> that one is horrifying. Like, oh my god. It. Yeah, you're you're allowed to put or, your head down. Or my favorite, also too, which nobody was prepared for, and correct me if I'm wrong. If you were, and kudos to you, um, the ending of Knocked Up, the movie Knocked Up with Katherine Heigl, I was yeah, not ready for that, that either. She goes go to give again? birth, and it's front and center in between the legs, camera, and I was like, I don't remember that. I Isn't was not really? I was not ready. Yes, I was not ready. I mean, it's fine because that's what happens. But as somebody who was going in for a funny comedy, I wasn't expecting to get like a life lesson. <laughs> so that Do one you took see her veg. Yeah. It's well, I don't know. Probably if it's not her hers. It's, it's, probably stud, like a it's a stud prop, veg. Yeah. yeah it's, <laughs> woo, I was like, oh. <laughs> Okay. Imagine that's your oh entry into show business. You're like, I was Catherine Heigl's stunt pussy in Knocked Up. <laughs> I don't and think anyone would admit to that. And now I'm tired. Now I, I don't know that I it's would. part of a I don't know that I would. resume. I mean, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. I actually found a birth book when I was really young that was just very, like, from the 60s and 70s and very graphic. And I was like, oh, wow. A birth, a birth book? <laughs> Yeah, it was like just his birth book, but it was like with like black and white photos and stuff. So I was like, oh, that's. Oh, I, I didn't even understand that. everything yet, anyways, but I saw that. <laughs> it was like probably I, like eight. So it wasn't like oh. your birth book. It was like a birthing. Yeah, like it was like it, it was somewhere <laughs> at some library or something. And of course, I picked that one to look at, which was awesome. Mm. So, Well, that's oh, the same. Yeah. Like when I went through driving school at the age of 15. There, and I don't know about y'all when you went through, if you ever went to driving school, but when I went through driving yeah. school, like to learn to drive, they played this video. It's called like Red Pavement or something. And it's from the literal end of the 70s, early 80s. I mean, it's very, very old. And we watched it. And it's all about the ways that you could absolutely become street pizza should you drive like an a-hole. And I was like, what the heck is going on? So I leave class and my dad's like, God, they're still showing that. They showed that when I was your age. And that was like 40 years ago. Red asphalt. That's it. Red asphalt. Thank you in the chat. You know, so I feel like we've all seen the same driving school video. We've all seen the same like boys have hormones and girls have hormones. The Whatever that video was that we were shown in fifth grade. And we've all mm -hmm. also seen the same birthing video. <laughs> A miracle of life, I think it's called. Crazy. Like we're kids now, we see the blowjob books too. You know? Oh yeah, <laughs> blowjob book. Oh my god, I'm living under a rock. It's okay. You need to learn this stuff for when you have kids. That's yeah. Terrible. Oh, I mean, I've had a lot of conversations about babies from my coworkers at work, and there's a lot of info still. I didn't know about um, the nurses watching you pee and poop thing. <laughs> Yeah, oh, and you have to oh, pour you, water yeah. at your cooch for your first supervised. Yep. And I remember I had to go find a nurse. I was like, look, this is embarrassing, but I feel a number two coming on, and I'm afraid. I, <laughs> I, um, I don't know if I should <laughs> or if I can. I don't want to pop a stitch out. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, if you got the stitches between one hole to the other, that's... I just said, sew the whole thing shut. Make Frank work for it, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. Go all the way up. I just said, sew it all the way up. So many women do that, though. They're like, hey, while you're in there, can you tighten that? And I, I think, was it my aunt? I can't remember now. Awesome. A family member of mine was like, can you, while you're down there, can you, like, tighten it up and make it, you know, fresh before I had fix a baby? My, and the guy looked my labia. Dead. Make it, yeah, yeah he looked dead in the eye. Dead in the eye and was like. That's a cosmetic procedure, and I'm not that kind of doctor. And I was like, damn. 
That's and I, as he was throwing me up, I reached down and I just, I just slipped her a hundred bucks, and I was like, just <laughs> make it, make it Asian. Just take it. Just take the make money. it. <laughs> make just... it Asian. Make it as Asian as possible. <laughs> so, <allowed> so basically, <laughs> you did what every government person does in general. Well done. Kudos <clears throat> to you. I like it. I like it. Wow. Like an approach. Yeah. Check the government approach here did. for it. I think it'd be yeah. a hoot to watch you give birth, Christy. <laughs> Oh um, God. no, uh, Frank watched me give birth and it was not a hoot. It, uh, I think not according to Damien. Right, right. Damien's over it. It was, um, <laughs> I, I'm really, I'm, I, uh, I'm kind of beating myself up over my performance, you know, like, I think I, not I enough stream. I, um, I wish I could have pushed better. I think I was an inefficient pusher. But well, it was your first time. It's your first time. And Fair. she said, like, she said, the doctor was like, you're very, like, muscular. And I guess, like, everything is tight. Not even, like, your puss, but, like, your your ab, everything, your midsection. So she was like, you're like an athlete. I was like, I was an athlete. I was an athlete. So <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but well, you, were doing the whole, you were doing working out the whole time, keeping all that yeah. strong down there. I was trying. I was trying. <laughs> But it's like no joke. Thank God all the qualified people were there. There could have been a few more men in the room. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> a lot of females. The anesthesiologist was male and the guy from the NICU was male because he had to pop in really quick because uh the bean had some trouble transitioning. He, he had like water on know. his lungs that didn't like oh. absorb right away. And like the absorption of the fluid is what like gets the oxygen going, and then you turn pink and then you have like the Hollywood baby cry, <laughs> which he didn't have. So we're all like, oh, God, we're freaking the fuck out. But he he totally came around and is perfect. And thank God. God. Yeah. Good thank job. You. Good job, Chrissy. Yeah, scary. good job. It's fucking scary. Like, I don't know who's having a chill. All these Instagram videos really. I thought it was going to be so chill and easy. Like these women just popping them out, one leg up on the counter, catching their own babies. That's what I thought. <laughs> I, was gonna I think that's like baby number three or four at that point, to be honest. They just what about the ones who are like completely doing it on their own in a, in a, like, oh, in a little tub or something. In the middle of their living room. They and have a, 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 what are they called? Like that's what she did. And she had no midwife. Her husband mm. was there. Oh. <gasps> Well, that the not. Are you talking about the Naya girl that everybody is? Are you talking about her? No, it wasn't Naya. It was uh, I, I can't remember her name. But I, I just read it someone? randomly recently. There was there's an influencer that has been causing a controversy. That's a whole other subject. But her name is like Nara Naya, not the corn star, but she's um really pretty, a black, married to a white guy. She's super pretty, and she just had their third, I think. And they had planned a home birth and the midwife or whatever you call them could not get there in time. And her husband literally helped her deliver this baby like in the cool. kitchen. At home. Like she but sneezed. But that happens sometimes baby. to people. Like, oh, oh my God. Like um, one of my, uh, I watched The Bachelorette and Bachelor at one point, Jane, Jade Roper, she did it in her closet. Um, I think it was her third baby or <gasps> yes, something like that. I did see that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, it's like a natural thing your body does know what to do it's just really scary because i mean well one it's your first time and two you're not used to having all the professionals around so yeah i would say we've come we've become which is good like it's not a bad thing but we've become so reliant on like all the nurses and stuff around that we forget that our bodies naturally for the most part know what to do it's like you just squat and like hang in there <laughs> it's fine <laughs> but yeah it's crazy Crazy yeah, Frank saw all the all the, the. I guess they brought out a bunch of tools. Did he peek? Like a bunch of uh, what? Did he peek over? Uh, I think he could. Well, he was. They had him holding a leg. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> yes. He he didn't sign up to hold a leg. He just was gonna be my my head and say nice things into my ear. And they were like, <laughs> they were gonna grab a fucking leg. They had him counting down with the pushes. <gasps> the oh nurses. my god. <laughs> he to, he's like, I said, he's like, I feel like I worked a shift. I feel like I, I need <laughs> He's like handing them things. He's like 
fully. Do I get a discount? He saw everything, and I feel so bad because I didn't want him to see everything. I I specifically do not look into the eye of the storm. Do not look at it. Like it's. I want you to go back there one day, and uh, (laughs) it was brutal. He said, "I forget the movie that he said, but they brought out all the tools, and it was like the in case shit goes sideways kit. You know, all the like (laughs) grippy, choppy." It's probably a cart that's all prepped. (laughs) Oh, and then I'm glad I didn't see all that. Like I spent a lot of it with my eyes shut because I just was like so focused. (laughs) You're like, please, 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 please. please." I was afraid to like. I was afraid to look down. It's. I would be too. I would marathon man. (laughs) Marathon man. Yeah. (laughs) I don't know. Congratulations, Strunk. Frank did too did too much work. Frank is basically uh, a a nurse at this point. He's a, he's not yeah. registered. He's an unregistered unregistered nurse. nurse. Listen, it's <laughs> always good to know just in case you need to be the one to do it. You know, you just never know. Oh, and Gary says hi. By the way, <laughs> oh hi, Gary. I miss you guys so much. I was really proud mm-hmm. of myself because I fed the bean like right up until this show went live. So I'm going to see how nice. long he can last. Because it's, you're basically like, it's basically boob on demand for. Oh. You're you're now his assistant for the next 18 oh, years. Oh, so you really want to get the views. <laughs> just get like the shirts that have the ones you can pull down and just nurse them on camera. That's how you get the views. Right I'm, I'm sure chat would love that. No, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that would be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I think you have to go straight for like maybe a month. And then you can start pumping. I don't know if it's different things say different things. But oh, I don't know. it's a job. It's a real it's a real job. Well, it's you exciting. look great. So thank you. You look fabulous. So I, I'm, I remember when I was 180 pounds and I kept saying I was 180 pounds. Now I'm like 163. Nice. Ooh. So I don't know. Maybe that was just all blood. <laughs> probably well i mean really, it, it is blood <laughs> volume <laughs> and the baby the baby in there and the placenta that, that's the, the placenta one. like placenta is what yeah. like blood and goo and all yeah. that. oh the placenta no joke it's uh it's Did like you make it it's like this it? big it's like i swear to god oh, it's, it's humongous like, it's huge yeah and, and then they weigh, like, weigh, what four pounds i think it's like four pounds that thing weighs by itself not not including it was baby fucking huge it looked like krang from teenage mutant Ninja turtles it was like because i remember i woke up at 2 a.m i was like i can't let these motherfuckers have my placenta and i was the nurse, the nurse came in i said where's my placenta i must have it they're like uh we think we threw it out i was like you better <gasps> check you better go check because i don't believe these fucking people when they say oh we threw out your placenta oh we throw out foreskin we throw out everything it's like no you sell them to ellen and sandra bullock <laughs> and, you, and you make moisturizers out of them okay i've seen the video you made a smoothie out of it no i was like i need i was like i am taking all of my medical waste with me when i leave <laughs> You guys can't stop me. Go find it. You better go find it. Go root through the trash and find that placenta. I'm not leaving oh without it. Oh my god! They're you like, eat it. Uh, American okay. healthcare is so different. <laughs> I guess <laughs> nobody. I guess nobody does this because they were like, uh, okay. And then the lady was like, okay, we still have it, but uh, you got to sign some paperwork and you have to test negative for hepatitis C. And I was like, okay. Why? Uh, what are you gonna do? I feed it to people? Think, like what? Well, Probably know people make pills out of it now, like they dry it up. Oh, it's like a Chinese medicine thing, yeah. If I had it, I think they don't want me like making like placenta sliders and giving them to people while I have hepatitis. (laughs) Oh my god, (laughs) it's probably a Hollywood delicacy, (laughs) yeah. But in all seriousness, though, did you eat it? Because I hear that's no good for you. We buried it under the Virgin Mary in the yard with uh, some of my dad's ashes. Aww. We planted a nice, like, um, nice. flowering shrub on top. I was gonna say your flowers will grow fabulously. Really? They yeah. Should. yeah. It was cool. Yeah. That's cool. So, I'm glad you got to take it home. Yeah, I'm so glad. I was like, I just want it. They're like, what's your plan? You my you body parts. <laughs> they yeah, they didn't even let like, you bring your wisdom teeth home anymore unless you like beg them. You gotta really? beg. Them. I'm all for taking home all your medical waste. Doesn't matter what what happens, just take it all home. 
You can't take let the these poop samples home. Take have it all your, home. I don't know about no, the poop no, samples. No, they can keep that. <laughs> you can't have my DNA. You can't have my cord and my fucking stuff. So, oh, uh oh. <laughs> like so much. <laughs> Too much and talk of placenta. They were like, they're like, so, uh, what's your plan? What are you going to do with it? They kept it. They're like, they're like, we, so they just really wanted to make sure I had a plan for the placenta. Even like, what? Generation B4 kept them. A lot of old, like old Everybody, generation yeah. kept them too. That's so weird know. to me because if you go through a home birth situation, they don't question you at all. They're like, do you want a mason jar or like a screw top jar? Like what, what kind of jar you want? We'll put this in here for you. Zero questions asked. I had so to bring cute. a cooler. I had to produce yeah. a <laughs> So I had a little uh -huh. lunch bag. I was just carrying it in like a little lunch bag. <laughs> so I tell for school. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sat in the fridge for a few days and then we buried it and we said a little prayer. It was nice. RIP placenta. Yeah. Dave Chandler. Oh, well. Congratulations to Chrissy and Frank. I'm a little <laughs> looking forward to all the motherhood stories come uh come into your stand-up routine. Oh, thanks, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all the little weird stuff. Like we were just at dinner with my friends who have a two-year-old. Well, she's not quite two. She's, yeah, no, she's two, two and a half. And she it literally took water out of her straw in her cup, put it on the table, and then slurped the water like a Coke addict off the table. And I was oh, like, Wow. Wow. This is the same little girl. I love her dearly. The same little girl where if she touches any dirt with her hands, she has a full-blown meltdown. But somehow public restaurant water on a table is perfectly fine. <laughs> oh. I think you say she like ah. snorted yeah, it. Yeah, she went, I mean, she was I mean, she didn't snort it, it went in her mouth, but you know, we'll get there. But yeah, she was uh it, I was like, "Girl, are you okay?" <laughs> oh my goodness. Toddlers. Toddlers are great. Cute. They're hilarious. How old is she again? She's two and a half. Two. That's cute. Oh, wow. from Tip. Love you all, Forest Mommy. I'm white pilled for oh, Colorado. Ooh, ooh. What is white pilled? What does that mean? Well, because we're fighting the commies out here, and everyone's mm. always like, "Just move, just move." And I'm like, "I'm not letting the ugly commies make me move." So, uh, we have some really great yeah. Stuff here. Wait, which stand which your ground? I'm here for it. all of them. What? All of them? Okay. Mm -hmm. All of the commies. Plus the yeah, government. They're just ugly commies who are trying to destroy shit and like force trans stuff through the through oh, policies. Those ones. Okay. And, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And okay. the ones who are like basically yeah, anyways. But we have cool shit going on out here and I'm white pilled. I posted that today. Like we have just I met a hot That's gun girl me. out here recently. Ooh, like we have so many cool hot people out here fighting. So I'm Ooh. yeah, we're not losing. You have to be I sometimes feel that way about New York. Like, oh, they don't. I won't let them take my beautiful home state away. And then I'm like, ah, oh, the fucking. There's too many fucking migrants, so I'll let them have it. You know, <laughs> yeah, there's a point. Like, everyone has to have their self, like, preservation point, you know, and what you think. But yeah, I'm not going anywhere because they're ugly. They're so ugly, and they're like, they're in control. Like these ugly un. Uh, they're not worth where they are. They couldn't get there on their own. They're all like moved there by powers, other powers. But I'm like, yeah, ugly people aren't making me move. So we're still talking about the migrants, right? <laughs> oh, the commies. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, they brought them to Colorado and messed up their <laughs> I would say move to the suburbs or country. Yeah, you can't be in the city. That's what's ruining mm -hmm. all ruining all Colorado. It's just the cities anyway. Yeah. So. The problem is the cities have the vote. So you can move to the country and move, you know, the smaller towns, and that's great. Kudos. I live in a small town now. Uh, but the cities, like where we're at, we're in Texas, we're in a little town outside of Austin, but Austin rules the roost. You know what I mean? Because that's yeah. the what's the word? The voting, the oh my god, I can't think of it now. Yeah, electoral all... college. Electoral oh. college. So Dallas, Austin, San Antonio, all these big cities. And it was the same when I lived in Nevada. Nevada is a red state, but Vegas and Clark County outnumber the rest of the state with the electoral college votes, but so it'll always be blue. Hmm. I was in Texas last weekend and there was people saying even, cause I'm all about local, like our last hmm. chance is local on the little shit, like every little thing. And I had friends in Texas cause all the Texas people like aren't paying attention. They're like, oh, we're all red and good and all. And I'm like, no. 
And they're like talking about these city councils that were totally progressive and like putting in all these housing rules and private property breaking rules. And I'm like, you got to pay it. That's what happened in Colorado is our parents, our boomer parents weren't paying attention. They're just making Mm -hmm. money and like weren't teaching us how to pay attention. And so now like they came in and they just like snuck in. So now we're just fighting them. It's, it's annoying, but it's fun too. So, you know, yeah, you have to at least like be part of it. And I think that's, you hit the nail on the head for us, mommy. Like we just were not paying attention. They just were the only ones showing up and running for shit. And that includes like school boards and progressive weirdo women <laughs> that are all on SSRIs and stuff. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> um, Zato, thank you for the orange boy. my spine. That sounded a little weird. My milk truck brings all the boys to the yard. Is that me? Is this my song? Thank you, Zato. <laughs> my job! Cat, <laughs> do you have the jar? What are you drinking tonight? No jar tonight. It's just plain water bottle. What are you drinking? Shampoo? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what this is, okay? My sister is a dental hygienist and they get like their cleaning stuff in here, but it's meant to be like a recycled type thing. And so I, I feel oh, good. I feel good. <laughs> that is like if I see somebody with a bottle that says "I feel good," I go, "This person's suicidal." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I didn't buy this. Okay, I didn't sure. buy this. <laughs> that is like the biggest cope. Uh, Ooh. That bottle right there. Oh, Frank. That that mm-hmm. tells me there's the definitely a liquor nurse. in that. There's the liquor. <laughs> in that I don't bottle. know, if, Frank. You mean to be on screen right now? Or Hi, Frank. Move? There's a filing cabinet. Um, B car as well. Chrissy, I'm going to need you to pay my mop guy. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know why that's funny, but thank you. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, did someone make a breastfeeding song? Lordy. Let me, uh, let me play this. Just try to get your attention. Oh, that's why. Okay. Brett, a few people have made AI songs in honor of Simpcast. So say this is, uh, who made this breastfeeding song? It better be good. We're going to play it now. Mom, Chrissy, she- she's got the power, spreading love every single hour through her <laughs> She's changing lives, nurturing the world, one child at a time. No, wow. it's just one child. She's we need lighters. with the mission, so true. Breastfeeding her baby, <laughs> spreading her milk with kindness in her heart. She leads the way. Oh my God! Showing the world the power of love every day. <laughs> Online, she shares her nurturing light, streaming her feed. Oh, that's what this is about. That's what you guys want. Okay, She's wow. Low key a banger. <laughs> oh my god. Beautiful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this wow, this is actually pretty like inclusive of a good song. I love how they automatically made it a country she song. <laughs> this is actually didn't go pervert. It didn't go pervy either, which is nice. No. You know what's crazy is this sounds like the exact kind of music I listen to now. <laughs> <laughs> like more kind of very even... country. You gotta you gotta save yeah. that and play it when you're breastfeeding and you're just like I need motivation. I, it'll be the soundtrack to getting chomped on. That mm-hmm. is so funny. Uh Frank, who made that? Did you make that? Did uh did someone in the chat make this? That's so funny. Mother with Frank the milk like, jugs. They did it. Holy cow. There are a couple more songs. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Who knew there were so many songs about breastfeeding? Not me. It's AI. You can make it about anything. So this one oh, here fair. is about Sim Cats. Sim Cats in general. Around, come take a peek. At the Sim Cats where I'm on the boat in the last Wow. <laughs> Chrissy Mayer in the spotlight. Keep your eyes on the prize. <laughs> 
Breaking the mold. Oh so do you just put prompts in in this fits it I out? think so. I think you put in a couple of words and it just makes oh, it. That's insane. This is a Better banger. This make. has to be your intro from now on. This is so good. Bringing the heat, raising the bar coast to coast. <laughs> speed, it, speed it up just a smidge. It's great. It's Remix. Great. Yeah, it's a little yeah. slow. A little slow. Also, I love that it says hip hop, but that's not the vibe I'm getting. I don't know what I'm getting, but hip hop no. is not the vibe. <laughs> then That was really one. good, actually. Oh, is this the same thing, but just set to... Did Oh, I think Oatmeal Joey made this one. What's up, Oatmeal Joey? This oh, one is set to creepy... Uncanny Valley uh, girl. Oh. Is this us? Jesus Christ, this is scary. I'm so glad I'm not included in this. Wait, this is, that's a bunch of filing cabinets. <laughs> Wait, this woman is inside the filing cabinet. <laughs> so is this one. Listen, so is this one. Uh, wow. Every good video game has its glitches, okay? <laughs> this woman has no eyes. It's just black. She has just black <gasps> holes. That's Their the devil creepy. coming. That's the devil and his demons coming for you. Yeah. Right <laughs> what? That one doesn't even have a face. Look, it's all smudgy. Oopsie. What in the Same world? Yeah, this is concerning. Just women inside <laughs> filing cabinets. What's this back here? <laughs> what the hell? We let it all collide. <laughs> oh god are these so, so many clones? gingers <laughs> this is unsettling <laughs> this is very unsettling all the filings the AI bot forgot the rest of some guests this is this giving is me Westworld this is a love story between <laughs> you and filing cabin cabinet <laughs> <laughs> three just like very Marvel-esque looking Brie Larson like Phoenix yeah, and then just in the background, sitting in the water, is this old <laughs> gray filing cabinet. Why the filing cabinet? <laughs> because it just became like Frank's nickname. Oh, uh, back when I did the the frost wrap, what was that like a year or two ago? Um, oh yeah, zipper, <laughs> zipper, <laughs> tape. This is so weird. It's like so creepy. They're like in the oh. water. Oh, this is like Hunger Games. Yeah, I was like, you're leading your own little Mockingjay army there. What the fuck? This chick's walking backwards. <laughs> <laughs> this is very strange. Oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> I'm having a struggle session with myself. <laughs> There's so many redheads. What's going on here? Yikes. It's two sets of twins. There's oh. four of you. Oh, this is like it's a, a lot Mad of walking. Men. I love it. Yeah, this, this is Mad Men meets Westworld. Okay, but low key, you should get a dress like that. You look like, amazing in it. Yeah, this is well, not now, but when I eventually get my body back. I think you will. Oh. Yeah. That's what the breastfeeding is for. Oh, and you can't get yeah. pregnant again <laughs> when you're breastfeeding. FYI, that's hold on though. It's Everything possible. I'm reading says that if you're regularly feeding, that it acts like a natural contraceptive. Apparently, apparently, you can still get pregnant out of my older sister. It's called but... Irish twins. It's called Irish twins. Yeah. It's called the yeah. birth control pill is 99.9% .9 effective. Yeah. Or Nothing's just, ever 100%. You know, Frank's not allowed to touch you. For Interesting. A long time. I, I have read Irish several twins. things. All right. I guess I, it probably depends on the person, but I. The Irish twins thing are the ones that get pregnant pretty much right away when they're allowed to. So you have whatever whatever your window is like oh you can't like heal first you get two months or whatever and then they have at it and they get pregnant right away and that's called Irish oh twins. my god i thought you said like giving birth heal first i'm like that sounds painful yeah you oh, give birth and you heal like, and then you're a little, little she meant like a baby like a little like, leg yeah, a little foot comes out first oh, like, no, no. and then you you heal after giving birth and you're able to 
have sex again and then you get pregnant right away it's irish twins and their their babies under a year you have two babies under a year i thought the irish twins just means like Good one luck. comes out redheaded i uh, know uh, oh That's my what goodness I to do now. Good luck, Godspeed. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll go back to pulling out, I guess. Uh, Teddy, oh, thanks for the yellow boy. Sometimes with this show, I feel like I'm eavesdropping on a private females only conversation. My instinct is to turn it off, but I never do. Very happy for you. Guys. Wow, welcome, thanks, Teddy. Teddy. Hopefully Thanks. you take some of this knowledge into any relationships you have. You yes. <laughs> this show helps helps us to understand women. Cage and Corey, hugs for Tugs, X-Ray, and Mama Chrissy. Congrats Thank to you, you and Frank. Hi, Cage. Cully. Cage and Corey, B. Carswell, that video made me think that all women have massive bushes. Also, mm -hmm. yes, Tugs. I remember that driving video. I saw it as well. It was ridiculous. Are you talking about the knocked up video or the... No, the driving video, the red asphalt or whatever it was called. Like it was Had so bushes. In? No, oh no, she were there bushes in the about... driver's head video. Big cars were talking about the bushes. I don't know what that's about, but the driving video is something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's very confusing. Okay, <laughs> I would have remembered that, that video was about bushes. Was there something in that video about bushes? I don't. know. We might. I'm oh, maybe the the uh, in school birthing. Oh, maybe video. that. Um, what's the birthing what? video? Would you guys say miracle of life? life? That that might be. That okay, might that be makes what sense. Because I was talking about. <laughs> My driving video is not that. A lot of people were scrubbed on the floor. It's okay. I remember when I was waxing, and some pregnant ladies obviously came in to get their stuff done, and I was just shocked by how much. Um, yeah, yeah. You're actually supposed to, uh, at the time when I was working like five, six years ago, you're not supposed to shave prior to birthing. Uh, it's something about infection. And oh. so a lot of women waxed beforehand because once, well, you've heard Chrissy's stuff about, you know, post-birth. You don't want anything down there. Yeah, well, listen, the doctors can kiss it, but also you can't reach around the belly. So that makes sense. Yeah. I, I was, was afraid to get waxed while I was pregnant because I was like, I don't want there's the more pain. blood volume, which Feel the pain. You can translate to oh. what that means. Like you bleed more? No. You're very oh, you swollen. It hurts more. Oh. I don't okay. know if you noticed. Or maybe Frank I haven't noticed. looked. I haven't, I haven't looked at it. I haven't looked at it yet. <laughs> She's like, I couldn't see it. There was a belly in my way. <laughs> and yes, you know I what? more. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't get waxed because there were no male doctors there. So who was there to impress? You know, what <laughs> would have been yeah. all for naught? <laughs> there was two, yeah, two female doctors. And then, yeah, the male NICU <laughs> guy, which I was happy to see. I was like, finally. A man. <laughs> finally, a man. Thank God. <laughs> is this another Simcast song? This is about tonight's episode. Who made Already? these songs? Who made these songs so quickly? That's so fast. AI. Night feeling high, gonna hit the town. Chrissy Mayer's got the show lights flashing all around. It's Ray Girl. Oh my god. That choker. That's turn cat cat on a sip and shake. Big and strong. Born eleven pounds. <laughs> This is like music I liked when I was a kid. It sounds like um very nineties. Yeah, boy band. Oh, I'm downloading this. I want to say bodies move and feel the rhythm flow. No worries, no cares. Just let it go. It's a crazy night out. Living life is no tomorrow. The party in the USA by what's your code? I can't wait for your first pump and dump, uh, Chrissy. <laughs> I put this on my Spotify or yeah. 
Okay, cool. Well, was, okay, the first couple verses were great, and then it trailed off. Wow! That was like sip, boy band, early 2000s, and I'm here for it. Well done. <laughs> sipping, sipping shampoo. I literally have the link. I'm going to download it. I'm going to deal. Well, I don't know if I can, but I'm going to try. Wow. <laughs> that that's was great. Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> well done. Well done. I like I'm gonna, that. I'm going to listen to that when I when I feel sad. It's amazing. Serene's <laughs> lunatic. Uh, I like your story about wandering the hall crying. Thank you. I do too. I especially because the nurse ratted me out and sent a social worker to my room the next day. Yeah. They you always were crying? Go. Thanks for nothing. I thought we were friends. What a Ugh. snitch. Snitches get stitches, She's, which is she snitched. She snitched on me. Snitches get stitches. Okay. Yep. Come on, you're telling me there's not women at 4 a.m. walking around sobbing and the there's no way that that's labor and delivery. I don't believe yeah. that for um, one second. Wait, were you post or post or pre delivery at that point? Post. I was oh, very I, I yeah. was post. You know what? Yeah. They're probably afraid of postpartum depression. So okay, why? Yeah. Uh it's like, it can get very scary if you don't have the right resources. What's scary about women in a robe crying at 4 a.m.? <laughs> not in general but if you have a genuine case of postpartum it oh, could end up like neglecting yeah. of the kid and it's it oh could, god no no nothing could like end that. up that way i'm not saying that's what happened with you obviously but yeah the although i feel like mo i feel like more women than people realize probably cry walking around afterwards because your body just went through a thing okay and you're dumping all those hormones your body's now cleansing starting to cleanse itself of all those hormones and we cry for no reason on our normal periods once a month so like that makes sense to me but i also had four hours of sleep <clears throat> the whole time i was in the hospital from monday night I would cry. till i left oh four you get hours. senile on lack of sleep <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I've been there. Already, on a good day, I'm a little senile. So I know it's me. <laughs> I would have cried. I probably I'm, would be right there with no, you. No, I think I think that's so normal then for sure. God, oh God, four hours for a whole week. It was bad because the first night I couldn't sleep at all. I was like, yay, birth. And then uh they start putting you on things. And then once you actually start contracting, you're not gonna sleep. And then and then once he was born, we we're like, oh shit, is everything okay? So I didn't really sleep till thursday i don't know it was wild and i only was out of bed because i had to go explain to the nurse like why i was crying earlier i said oh <laughs> this, this is not logical i'm so emotional crying. right now i'm sleeping fine. i'm like i have to go explain myself to the nurse because they're like, we're gonna take the bean. they're like we're gonna take the bean to the nursery for two hours so you can sleep and i was like I have to go. I have to go apologize to the nurse and explain myself. And then I got a little turned around and I started crying. And then a different nurse found me and I was like, "Fuck!" I just wanted to see. I was like, "I just want to see him." <laughs> like I said, I would have loved to see Chrissy at the hospital. I, it's not the worst I've seen at a hospital. Okay, they brought me like a fucking crazy person to the nursery. Look, there he is. <laughs> She's playing with somebody. Look, there, there at they have him in a rocking chair. There he is. Wave hi. Like, just picture me behind a window in a robe, sobbing, going, hey. <laughs> and then hands on shoulders. Come on now, back to your room. <laughs> You're being escorted like the old man in the, the nursing home that thinks he's still in World War yeah. II. Like, it's okay. I have, I have socks on my hands. Okay, let's get you oh some ice God. chips. Yeah. No. Oh, Chrissy. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> that I seems know. like normal to cry about that. Like, <laughs> that seems like it would be normal, though. I, don't I know. would think so. Yeah. I mean. Oh, geez. yeah. Oh, now I have a, you're I muted. Have a file. Oh, you're muted. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the, like, I, I think I would cry, too, because I was just saying, like, they don't take your baby away in Canada. Like, when you give birth. he's like, my kids were right in the room, like the entire time. No one helped you with anything. It's just you and them. And Justin Which you Trudeau can demand, in. by the way, in America. I did not know this. I've There's a girl on TikTok. She's a uh, neonatal nurse. And she, like, yeah, her, right. what made her famous on TikTok was, like, she, like, swaddles different things. But anyway, the point is, is that she she's like, no, listen, you have the right. 
if they try to take your baby out of the room and you don't want that, you say, no, you leave that baby here. I don't care what the reason's for. You know, you can leave, leave the, if you, they want to give the baby it's, you know, pokies. Um, you have the right to demand that the baby be in the room with you while you watch them give the pokies. They, they need to bathe it, bathe her or him or weigh her or him. Blah, blah, blah. You have, I was like, I didn't realize we had all these rights. So you bet wow. your butt I'll be screaming. You let that baby right here. You don't touch it. <laughs> no, not happening. Oh my God. It was a hoot. It was a hoot. I, um, <laughs> before my little meltdown, they, there was a, at maybe the day before they had brought the baby into the nursery to do, they have to do a, a heel prick. I guess they have to test the baby for like a bunch of genetic disorders that they said it's required by New York state. So they have to send it to the state and then the results go to your pediatrician. But I was just like, I had my ear up against the window, <laughs> like, like listening to see if he was crying. Yeah. Cause you look in and it looks like just a little baby laboratory. Like there's all these babies swaddled up there some of them have so much hair. Some of these babies look like they had wigs on. I was like, <laughs> how much fucking hair do you need right now? And, uh, My daughter came out like that. Full head of hair. Wow. That's crazy. They say if your baby's born with more hair, you have like, um, um, I don't know. It's a little bit more of like a difficult pregnancy because there's hair like swishing around in the amniotic fluid. <laughs> Well, I I couldn't tell the difference between my first and my second. My son came out bald. So. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. It's amazing. Birth is a miracle. Except for you. Bless y'all for doing birth. it. I have mommy in my name, and I won't ever do it. So bless y'all. <laughs> I don't know why I thought you were. It, it is probably the, the mommy title that makes me think. I'm mommy to all the idiot adults out there. That's my you don't, job. You don't want to push out an 11 pounder yourself? <laughs> Oof. That's crazy. You seem like a small human being, so I can't imagine. I don't know how your mom. <laughs> ask her how she did that if she's still alive. Yeah, she's alive. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what? I want to know what, like, what she, how she got through that. I will. I'll do it. As well, just never turn your kid into an accessory. Oh, you mean like, uh, like a purse or something? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <That's my laughs> Neo, hey, Chrissy, during the throes of your labor, did you at any time threaten to kill Frank or yell something at him like you did this to me? No. And I specifically kept this in mind because I was like, I don't understand why these women get to that place. <laughs> but there was a place during the intense contractions where I was like listening to him. He was just trying to like keep it light and like chit chat. It was like me and Frank and his mom. And I just remember thinking like everything you're saying annoys me, but I didn't, <laughs> I didn't say that out loud. I just was, I would listen to him talk and I'd be having these Stop like talking. Old pain at 11 contractions and everything. He, I was like thinking to myself, like everything he's saying sounds so fucking stupid to me right now. Like, why is he talking? But I didn't say any of that out loud. I think at one point I was like, I was like, can you please shut up? <laughs> I think that was like the most rude thing I said. Because I just was not like, bad. Pain, pain. Uh, Gunny, Gunny Z. Ooh, thank you for the yellow boy. That's mom. Here's a little something from the new studio. Oh, thank you, Gunny. What is that show for? Gunnifer? Psychotic Mongoose. Thank you for gifting of your membership. Zato also gifted a membership. Thank you, Zato. I love you, Chrissy. I have actual viewers now, too. <laughs> what did you have before? Just you lined up stuffed animals? A bunch of AI ones? Like, I have questions. Bots. Professor Savage Dad Frank, doing the dad's work. I had to do all that, too, when my kids were born, and I wouldn't change a moment of it. I think Frank would change a moment of it. I think he would trade. I don't think he wanted to see what he saw oh and hold your leg <laughs> yeah you know, the wild thing is is these these husbands see everything and they still want to have sex with you later it's wild. let's hope <laughs> so what men are something kudos to men they 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 see a giant watermelon coming out of a very tiny hole and they're still like so you and i want to you want to <laughs> get it on in the bedroom tonight and you're like you literally just saw what is wrong with you um, a person come out of there <laughs> yeah. 
kudos to men. Shout out to y'all. I appreciate men you. Men are great. Well done. John Gordon, <laughs> use this as an intro song, please. Okay. Use the super chat. Okay, I'll try. Dave Chandler. <laughs> Hi, X Ray and Tugs. Hoping to drop by Poor Choices five times this week. Christy, save the smoke show and the feather boa for the next one. The first one <laughs> snuck up on me, on you. Uh, it did. I just didn't expect to be so early. Thank you, have, Dave. I Is have this the a- first time we're Thank on Simcast together, X Ray Girl? I think so. No, uh, once before. The second time? Oh, so second. Yeah. Hey. I just laughed because the picture you used was of the two of us and it was split into two. So, <laughs> what's that? What's that? Did you put that on, Frank? Is there someone rating us? Oh, Zia oh, rated us earlier. I was like, are we in? Are we in the purge right now? Like, what's going on? <laughs> oh my God. No rules. <laughs> what's it called where people get sucked up into heaven? The reckoning? Rapture. Uh, the rapture. rapture. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's the rapture oh, alarm. That's well, cool. hi, everybody. Guess we're not going to heaven. <laughs> we weren't chosen. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. Oh, thank you, Zia, for the raid. B Carswell, Chrissy, it was so nice having you over. What? Having you over oh. last night, but are you going to pay for the cleanup? Hashtag pregnancy. I don't understand this. What? Sir. I was, I was at home, not sleeping last night. Trying to be funny. Crazy cat, Miss Piggy, genius pop diva, or just a filthy pig. This might be for a different. I'm not sure the context, but thank you. Uh, Chris Ben. Chris Ben. Okay. Congrats on the baby, Chrissy. They're the best. I love kids. Oh my God, Chris. If you need help losing the baby weight, I have tips. The Bowflex changed my life. <sighs> Oh, what did he kill someone with a bow flax or something? I mean, I don't know all that part, but you know, they're the best. Oh, I love kids. Oh my god! Oh, Chris, oh, I'm gonna Chris. always I'm gonna a joker. Google you, mm-hmm. Chippicus Arvid Ulf Joseph Sangerhausen. That sounds Norwegian. Hey, Chrissy, just a tip: if the baby is crying or cranky, play Soramaki Takahashi song "Poison." He will stop crying. Wow, that sounds Asian. Oh. Is it like That's a metal song? <laughs> oh, I'll write it down. I'll give it a whirl. I'll try anything. <laughs> he's been very fussy. Like he'll he's so fussy from like basically now till two. And mm. then maybe he'll and then last couple nights, if it's a good night, I'll get two like three hour chunks of sleep Mm -mm. that's if it's going good it'll balance out it'll balance out when he starts teething when we were kids (laughs) i don't know if this is legal or not but when we were kids and we were teething and we were just throwing absolute tantrum temper tantrums my mom would put whiskey on our gums yeah that's that was a thing it has an analgesic effect though to also it makes us pass the the heck out (laughs) oh my god there's a suggestion see i think i'm gonna get in a little bit of white claw, he'd be like, I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no law. Was it the first six clothes? weeks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first six, seven weeks of life. Listen, that's okay. At least you weren't doing like shots of Everclear or Bacardi 151 <sighs> or something ridiculous. Thank so. God. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Jason Webster. Chrissy, I see a top 10 hit potential in that song. <laughs> I do too. I that was do. dope. Yeah. It's a banger. B car as well. Oh, a woman crying and complaining for no reason when I was trying to sleep. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. All right. You're ben welcome. Cooper, thank you for the yellow boy. And it was all yellow. Chrissy, very happy for you and your family. Thought the placenta story was a nice way to do it. Thank you, Matthew. Very yeah, nice. I, w- I wasn't going to eat it or put it into anything. Is it one of the Daenerys from Game of Thrones? Just eat it raw, like sh- no. No, I mean it isn't its purpose <laughs> to absorb toxins. Why do I then want to eat it? I don't know. We eat liver. Who knows? There's um mm-hmm. a placenta supposed to have a lot of good, like um, I don't know what the layman term is, like pluripotent cells, so like a lot of uh, beginner cells, which help mm. with your body and skin and health in general. So that's why they usually. Uh, 
I'll say the Chinese medicine people take it and make medicine out of it. There's like whole recipes online. You could make it into a smoothie. You could fry it up a little with some seasoning. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. Oh, smoothie. Ooh. I don't know. Blend it up. I'm glad you got it, though. I understand like wanting stem like, cells. Thanks. To I, just, I just wanted it. I was yeah. like, who cares yeah. what I'm going to do with it? I just want it. It came out of me. Oh, yeah. Did they ask you to donate stem cell blood? No, no, I know that's they do that nowadays, which they probably do crazy batch. Well, do some they, stem cells they say it's they, good, but did they take your stem cells without telling you? Where's where do they even take them from? Where is my I stem from your, from your the umbilical cord? I'm pretty sure. Oh, I don't know. Okay. I'm not a I'm not an expert on it. Well, I got the cord too. It was <laughs> oh. like a little. It was like a little tail. It was like a tail coming out of the placenta. Oh. Yeah. That's, uh, it was, yeah. It was like, is there still a little bit on your baby's belly button, too? No, it came off. It came mm. off like four or five days. Mm. Uh, I freaked out at first because I thought it was too early. And I like, like a loser. I just called the doctor. Like, it came off too early. Is it okay? <laughs> <laughs> then it's fine. But I saved it. <laughs> Dave Chandler, thank you for the yellow boy. And it was all yellow. Oh wow! Apparently, the poison song by Takahashi, "Putting Babies to Sleep," is a real thing. Something in the harmonics of the first guitar riff gets their attention. Mm. Wow! All right. Sure be like, cool. Like it'll be like a baby Einstein moment. Very cool. Okay, let's see here. So we played all the songs. We okay. This is really funny. I want you guys to see this. So every once in a while, I will check my Facebook uh, messages, uh -oh. <laughs> and sometimes there is a little, just a golden nugget sitting there waiting for me. Uh, here we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, love this. Um, hey Chrissy, can I ask you something? And again, I'm not trying to shame this person. I don't even know if we have their name on here. No. I just think this this is a funny message exchange. Hey Chrissy, can I ask you something? I just had a question about somebody that was on your show. Uh, I have somebody that has been chatting with me for several months claiming to be this woman, and I highly doubt it is her. Well, it sounds like you've answered your own okay. question, sir. Right? <laughs> Aga. It, no, it's not her. Without even you telling me who. <laughs> I promise it isn't her. <laughs> he goes on to say, I don't really think it is also. It's Violet Brandani. I have several people contacted me saying she is who she is. Some of them are kind of convincing, but I know it's not the real Violet. Uh, and then I say, always check their follower count. Uh, and then let me go to the second message. I'm so proud of you for responding. <laughs> this, I would have ignored you some, it. Sometimes you get a message and you're like, oh, my sweet summer child. Okay. <laughs> uh, always check their follower account. Yes. I, oh, fuck. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, I see that now. But on Facebook, the one I've been talking to for months, she doesn't even have her friends list. But she swears up and down. It is her. But she is going by a different name. I don't even know how to even find the real Violet. <laughs> uh huh. Ugh. She sounds retarded. Uh, I'm not really it's asking for any kind of information, but I was just curious on the last time you spoke with her. Yeah, sounds like you are asking for information, buddy. <laughs> and to see if you spoke to her again, if you can see if she could contact me by chance. But I am on Facebook and Instagram. So this person wants me to reach out to Violet to make sure that she really was talking to whoever the fuck this guy is. Please, 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 please. Hey, please. Violet, are you oh messaging some random dude, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely Oof. not doing that. You asked a question. I answered it. You're getting scammed. I spoke with her just days ago. No offense, but no famous model is ever going to talk to you online. It will always be a scam. Real the talk. End. That's good real talk. The end. 
It's like he's like, I was trying to get convinced that it was true, <laughs> even though I knew it was a scam. I think he wanted you to convince him it was true. <laughs> I think he was just looking for an in, and this was a very weak attempt. Like, ooh, maybe I can, maybe Chrissy will take pity on me and she'll feel inclined to. Uh, this is my way into the real Violet. Very sad. Very sad attempt. And instead, you shut it down. You're like, no, no hot chicks are going to be talking to you, brother. You're oh, hot. yeah. Whatever it is, the answer is no. Let's make it easy for you. Oh my goodness. Okay, what should we talk to you next? What should we talk about next? Uh Travis Barker trolling Courtney Kardashian on her 45th birthday. What was that? Uh, what did he do? Oh first of all, I didn't realize she was that old now. Kudos to her because she looks the best she out of all. Looks so good. Yeah, well, kudos. How old is she? She's 45. 45. Damn. Oh. And she's the oldest, right? It's her, Kim, then Courtney. Yeah, she's the so. oldest. She's old. uh, yeah, she's. And the there's oldest a brother in there Kim. somewhere, but nobody gives two shits about him. Nobody so. gives two shits. He had a failed sock business, and then we never heard from him again. He mm -hmm. broke up with Black China. I think she took a, uh, a lot of money. Anyway, she's 45 and fabulous, and she just had a baby. Uh, just a few months ago. So Travis Barker trolled Kourtney Kardashian on her 45th birthday with a picture of her on the toilet. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so can awkward. We just, can we take yeah. a moment, though? Oh, like, looks look great, even on the toilet. Her, her yeah, like, scott this game is amazing. This is obviously yeah. a public toilet. It almost looks like the handicapped toilet, so the, judging on the size. it's Her squat game is impressive. She may have had drinks. I don't know if she stopped drinking, but she seems very happy that this photo is taking being taken. So I'm going to go with she's either high on drugs or high on liquor. I don't oh, they know. were definitely she doing bumps. They were definitely doing great. bumps. She looks sure. great. She looks I just like look Chris Jenner. I mean, she looks she looks like a young Chris Jenner. The yes, looks like a hospital. It may be a hospital. I don't know. Wow. I don't love the slicked back hair look, but they. I know they. Fancy events and whatnot. She does look like Chris Jenner. You know who doesn't, though? Did Travis Barker take this photo, or what? How did he yeah, have it? Apparently, he is did. His picture? Maybe it is a hospital photo. Maybe it's when she was. Uh... Or no. Well, why would no. she be dressed up in a hospital? I why think she was she... just in the um the met the family private bathrooms. Or she was this out like and about public. on the night out of town and went into labor, and this is the hospital bathroom. <laughs> this is not. This is a public I bathroom. They're out somewhere. I think it's a public bathroom. Yeah, they're out somewhere. This How looks like oh my God. this is know. one fly toilet paper. These are toilet <laughs> covers. There's no way this. Is... <laughs> uh, hospitals don't provide toilet covers like that. Not <laughs> typically. Yeah. I'm just reading the chat. I don't know. Oh my god, Kiana has been sitting here the whole time, and I had Hi, no Kiana. idea. Hello, darlings. I literally Hi, just Kiana. came in. What's Hi, up? Darlings. Oh my gosh, I heard you were talking about the Kardashians, and then I just appeared. So <laughs> <laughs> we summoned Kiana with Kardashian <laughs> talk, <laughs> like that. No. Hi, ladies. You all look beautiful. Hi, darling. Uh, <laughs> Kiana, what's your opinion? Do you think she's in a public restroom? To me, it looks like the handicap restroom oh. of a public restroom. Absolutely. They then want to know why, because she just had her son, Rocky, and she might have had to change the baby in there. And those Kardashians Ooh. like to do things that are like, what's a grocery store like? What is a public <laughs> restaurant like? So it's absolutely public, I would assume. Oh, my God. It's like in the magazines. They're just like us. They're they just like us. Restrooms. <laughs> Courtney <laughs> Kardashian squats, too. <laughs> and Courtney is the most low-maintenance one. She doesn't really love the... Uh, she um, really is. Yeah. yeah. And she is yeah. 45. She looks marvelous. How are you feeling, Chrissy? She does. Good. I was just wondering if you had control over my stream yard because I'm thinking I might need to feed the bean. Oh. soon but oh, i'm like wondering her, her boobies are doing the thing They're actually the i do Christy, so you do yeah actually would you, I do. Would, you, would you mind taking the kardashian um article and i think i could do i think i could bang this feeding out in like 20 okay. minutes <laughs> All right. uh, kiana should share it then the article that's not what you. frank said okay share right, let, me get, let me get it i'll put it in the this is so funny. I can't believe I have to like leave to feed someone with my 
boobs. You feed him <laughs> Chrissy, forever. I will talk boobs, about the Kardashians all night. When the boobs pulse, you must give in to the boob pulse, okay? You have to give in. Oh, he put him down. Oh, hello. hello. That's a good heavy right there. <laughs> <gasps> Let me see. Hi. <gasps> Can I make her bigger? I want to yes, see yes, just yes. her, please. Oh, her bigger. Be oh, 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 say God. something. Oh. <laughs> His little face, he's like, You woke me up for this. Oh, what is happening? Perfect. It's so bright. Oh, oh my God. He's he's my old. So he smiled my for the camera. Oh my god, you don't tongue. Oh, I'm you're so mom. hungry. Oh, baby bean, uh, that's like biting on you. Oh, oh you my god. Uh, is he looking for breath? your nipple? He's I like, I saw you oh. smell him. I saw you smell him. <laughs> is he smelly, baby? <laughs> the dogs smell him all the time. The dogs like, oh, how oh. do uh, how do your puppies feel about the baby? They're very protective. Um, Muffin wants to be his mom, and Waffles is like very, like very much a guard dog. Oh, you probably hate these it. bright lights. These are so bright. All right, let oh, me go. No. Bean. Okay. 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 Bye, Bean. Enjoy. Bye. Your, enjoy your boobs. Back when <laughs> um, enjoy your get boob some juice. milk. Enjoy your boob juice. <laughs> <laughs> just throw her live on the air. Just oh, this yeah. is nice. Though. That's what I told her. I was like, just feed him. It's fine. Just pull. Yeah. Oh, you know, look at, look at the bean baby. Oh, I see. Hi, you oh, hi, handsome Gino. son of a bitch. All right. Oh, 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 so <laughs> I know. Isn't he cute? Oh. All right. I'm, I'm getting baby food. Wait, can we try yeah. to do it with the camera off? You could just do it with the camera off and mute your mic and all right. Yeah. right there. All right. All right. Yeah. I'm going to try it. Okay. If you hear yeah. sucking noises, mind your business. Okay. Yeah, no one get erect. It's a baby, for Christ's sake. <laughs> that was untoward. I do I'm untoward. Uh, yeah, I can't. But you're not wrong. Like you're not yes. wrong. It's a. Fair I never word. know what these people. Well, are. There's there are definitely know. mommy fetishes out there. Oh, yeah. oh my God! I think more more men than you know have, and they're like mommy milkers. Uh -huh. I love mommy stuff. Yeah, definitely. Mama. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. I Weird. can't believe that bean was so cute. Oh, baby. So freaking adorable. He was I like, I'm it. so unhappy about being awoken, but also I want snacks. I'm hungry. I'm <laughs> conflicted. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you, mommy, but I'm thirsty. Mother. mother. I crave snacks, mother. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, now where can we find this article? Let's see. Let's it's see. in the, the private, private chat. chat. I don't have that for some reason. The chat. Oh, yes. You know what, Keanu? Um, stupid, stupid, stupid. There we go. <laughs> don't be untoward yourself. Oh, my <laughs> God. So dumb. dumb. <laughs> yeah, um, everybody go back about 30 to 60 seconds and go look at the cuteness of the baby. Oh, my the God. The baby. He's such the a baby. Doll. He's, He's a little baby. He's like, oh, oh, the lights are bright. Help. He's like, I'm ready for my close up. Chrysanthemum. Um, okay, yes. Yeah. So where were we? What were we talking about with this? Um, uh, Courtney Kardashian. Courtney Kardashian was peeing, and Travis Barker posted a picture. She you know, looks This is happy. like the next level of uh, Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively whenever they troll each other on Oh, my God. Media. They're right. It's right. like, right. I don't know how I feel about a peeing picture, but I'm okay with, you know, uh, Ryan <laughs> Gosling. <laughs> instead and be like happy birthday ryan or cutting your wife out of a photo <laughs> but peeing is next level for... no let's see no no do you want me oh. to share it? i could share it too if you well that would be marvelous if you did just because uh -huh. maybe i have slow internet or something uh -huh. um there you go. Okay, there go thank you no i love I their relationship dating. so are travis and her date like a thing I, I guess. Oh, yeah, they're they married for a couple of years. Oh, did they get married? That I didn't know. Oh. I know they've been together for a couple of years. They got married three times. <laughs> um, what? They had, yes, they had one wedding in. Um, they had one little Las Vegas wedding, like very after I believe it was the Grammys, where they got rip roaringly drunk, went to Vegas, 
Then they had a wedding where they just signed papers in a cute little um in a on a cute little white convertible because when you have money to just throw away, you do things like not? this. Why and not it just have was, multiple yeah. weddings? Why not? Yeah. And then their final finale wedding <laughs> was in uh, Italy, and uh, they stayed oh, at Dolce and Gabbana's house or Dolce's house. Um, of it was it wow. was quite uh, wow. magnificent. Yes. Yeah, so they had three weddings, and they just had a baby, and she's forty five. So. Good for her. Yeah. Honestly, I thought uh, the Jonas and Priyanka, which I don't know which Jonas that is, but Priyanka and Jonas Nick. having two, Nick, thank you, having two weddings was wild. But at least hers made sense because one was an, uh, an Indian culture wedding and then the other was the American culture wedding. That made sense to me. Three weddings just for funsies just <laughs> makes me feel poor. Well, uh, <laughs> and let's I just know. say Indian weddings can last for like a week. There are so many. Yeah, events. it looks. She looks so beautiful too. I love Priyanka Chopra. I think she's just gorgeous. She is anyway, beautiful. Whole sidebar, but yeah. yeah, I feel very. No, I don't right want to have the wedding I'm planning, let alone three of them. <laughs> all right, <laughs> I'm a twin baby. Um, yeah. I think we should just all go to Vegas, Keanu, and you can act untoward. We could dress up like 1930s. Oh, yes. stylish ladies, and you guys can get married. I think. I'll pee in a public restroom in my frock. It'll be fine. <laughs> Now, do we think this is appropriate for your significant other to post? I, I would be very mad at Mark if he did this. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know. I guess it would depend on the couple. I find it a little weird, but I also find the humor in it. You know, so many <laughs> couples post like these lovey, which is also fine. I'm not saying anything against it, but you always get like the traditional picture. It's like, oh, love of my life has turned 45. It's been three amazing years with you. What up, blah, blah, blah. But this like one just like, British. yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday, you laugh. You yeah. leaky pissy bitch. <laughs> well done on this poo, babe. Good job. <laughs> no, they like, really and they have a great sex life. I don't know why I know that, but I do. Like oh, they are you constantly well. all over each other. He's not just trolling her like, oh, mm -hmm. look at this piece of shit. <laughs> Um, yeah. he, he's like, I love her so much. I don't even mind if she pees barefoot in, in a truck stop. Yeah. <gasps> Look who's here. Hi. Hi. Oh, oh, oh so hey. cool. my favorite people. Hi, Kiki. Hi, Hi XO. Hello, hello. Hugs. Forest Hi, mommy. Daddy. And is that cat? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yep. I, that for some reason, I can't see that from here. I don't know why. Oh, oh my Quincy, God. Yeah. Squint. Hi. 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 Oh, here. How are you? Hi, oh, How are you, Zia? I'm good. How are you guys? Share we're from well. Me. We're well. Chrissy went to go feed the bean. He made a little appearance. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's Chrissy. They don't fish and everything. So she's, so she's uh, boob so feeding him. Have you He's met so the bean in person? No, not yet, but oh. I can't wait. Oh, I, you can't really see. I was, th I'm thinking like you can't, you're not really supposed to take babies out for a while, right? Like mm -hmm. you're not supposed to introduce them to people for a bit. Right. Or I, I, I'm, are they, I don't, what if I give it, what if I just drop it? Maybe they want to get a, get a couple <laughs> layers on him, you know, it, it would be Probably really irresponsible. It's a tough to world it. out there. <laughs> they have to learn early. Spots <laughs> built right into their head. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't drop I'm, it, but I would be very nervous that I would. But we'll see. <laughs> I just throw them in. Just like soft when they're so small. Oh they're my god, so little. I I always am like, give me like, you wait two weeks. At least in two weeks, you're bigger than they were when you first gave birth, and they're a little bit more solid. <laughs> But yeah, the wildest yeah, thing is when they're like, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. The wildest right. thing is when they're less than five pounds, oh and you're god. like, oh my god, you're a little yeah. see through. That's a little bones. You a <laughs> translucent little bean. Ooh. When so I was, so I'm from Hawaii and my family's very mixed. So my, um, my grandma's husband, who I called Bampa because I couldn't say grandpa was Filipino oh. and he was like really, really, really dark. And when I was born, I'm super white on my dad's side. My mom's side is really dark. It's just funny how we like did a little split, but I'm super white. And I, so when I was born, you could see all my veins through my skin. Cause I was basically a little translucent baby. And my grandpa thought something was wrong with me. He got really scared <gasps> and my grandma oh. had to explain to him like, no, that's just how white babies look. No, <laughs> that's just how the white <laughs> ones are. That's, that's how the white people are. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, they're gross, gross, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
This is white supremacy with all these names. <laughs> it's like in Rosemary's <laughs> Baby. It's like, it's eyes. What did you do to it? It's like, no, it's just how white babies are. It's fine. It's just white. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's just not so nice, okay? <laughs> You're learning about diversity right now, Grandpa. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Burn her at the stake. (laughs) He's like, get rid of this one. She's no good. (laughs) Why why can we see its liver? God. (laughs) Why can you see its insides? Oh, I can't wait to meet the bean. I know. I can't wait. Maybe I should like, you know how they train like, do they train new mothers like this? Or is this just like a cartoon where they give you like a sack of flour and put a diaper on it and you carry it around? Should I do that yeah. before holding Oh my God, the do you remember in school? That's what they say. Yeah. So you have like the egg? <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I was going to say the egg in school. Yeah, remember the egg? We had to take care of the egg. Oh, God, I did the egg. Yeah, terrible. I remember that. And if it broke, you're like, I'm going to be the worst failed ever. Failed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, then there were the really fancy schools. The fancy schools had like the actual baby dolls that like cried. Oh my god. Oh, my god. And they like oh, yeah. themselves and that? stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah, pretty yeah. freaky looking. That's yeah. actually kind of terrifying. Yeah, that's but that's I do a remember the egg real. thing. Yeah, I, yeah. Motherhood is not for me. I'm sure of it, but I can't wait to squish the bean. <laughs> Zia, you don't want uh, children either, right? Yeah. Are you me so no. excited to be is it six? Six the cat. Oh God, <laughs> my the bane of my existence. You mean it's Jeez. six, right? <laughs> yes, six. <laughs> Um, yeah, oh she's like, I don't even remember the cat's name. <laughs> no, I just, I'm like, hi, devil. And then she lunges at me. Because she can, I feel like every time I see Keanu, the poor thing has new scratches up and down oh, her arm. No, <laughs> my God. So what do you think How I'm wearing? Old is this cat? Oh, God. Not old enough. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> five or something. I she's, Oh, God. Uh, you got at least 15 years to go. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, no. Outlive me and Gino just to spite me. <laughs> <laughs> they, you know what? That cat is actually evil they towards it you. <laughs> I didn't believe you until you showed us on that one stream. And I'm like, okay. Convinced. No. The cat I hate just is just for some reason. You know why? Because you moved in and you're like taking Gino's affections and she's like, absolutely yep. not. Yep. She's that's jealous. The, that's the thing. I'm like, you can have him. You snuggle him all you want. It's perfectly fine. But if I, I, I mean, it is, I've just never seen a cat. Normally they're afraid of you. They would, if they, or they don't like you, they hide from you. I would think I'm more of a dog person, but she goes out of her way to lunge at me. I, I, I've just never seen, I've never seen a cat do it. Very bizarre. But didn't Gino just walked in and he went shitting on the cat again? I see. I'm like, they broke up. <laughs> You're like, she started it. It's our fault. So sorry. Yeah. <laughs> He's the spawn of Satan. Oh, gosh. <laughs> hmm. uh, who, oh, and I... who has children here? I, actually, I know you don't. And ta- I don't. I do not. Yeah. Not yet. Just not yet. one. Cat's the only mama. Aww. Yeah, my kids are not babies anymore, though. My my daughter's gonna be ten. And my <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh, so I feel old. <laughs> no, uh, they said when I was born that I I was nine pounds ten ounces. I looked like David Letterman, and I didn't stop crying <laughs> until I was ten. <laughs> Um, so I, I, I was gonna say yeah. nine pounds. You're so thin. You're like How I would never so have funny? guessed that you were a chunky baby. I was a big fat shit with red hair, and I wouldn't stop eating. <laughs> red? Wait, oh, I baby. had red hair when I was born too. Yeah, isn't oh she? Oh my god! Care of yourself on a pencil. We, I make her fly on Keanu Cast. Oh my god! <laughs> She's so I can't cute. Though. Though. I mean, she a Take oh god. Her. Yeah, that's me eating sand just because they just let me eat sand. I, are you still yeah. are you still naturally red haired or like do you dye it now or no? no I have that. like dark brown hair. I, I don't know where that came so from. Wild. But the oh. question I had is what okay, were y'all because I was an ugly baby. They told me unequivocally, my brother was cute, I was ugly. Were y'all ugly babies or cute babies? Like the bean is a cute baby. Like that we can bean all agree is on a that. Cute baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was mm-hmm. a cute baby, but in my adult years, you know, I made up for it, so it's fine. No. Oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> no. Yeah, before you got here, I was eleven pounds when I was born, and I'm like 
like thin now, but yeah, it was it, you look ugly when you're that big coming out first, you know? Oh my like, god, I was sliced out. Eleven yeah. pounds. You, you're like, ha! I know. <laughs> number four. I was number four baby, and so my mother just. And I was oh, supposed geez. to be a boy too when I was born because like ultrasound had just come out, and they're like, "Oh yeah, it's a boy. It's totally a boy." I was not a boy. Oh, at all. surprise! Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello, my parents I didn't find out. Yeah. <laughs> Transitioning uh, before it was cool. <laughs> so you're mm -hmm. one of you're one of four, the youngest of four. Yes, oh, yes. That's cute. Did you get yes. away with everything because they were? Yes, because like I'm by a lot, and so like my sisters were having babies when I was in high school. So that was kind of part of like like I was like I'm not gonna have a baby because <laughs> oh, like I got wow, to see it up like close and personal. Which I totally yeah. I think people should have babies. I'm not anti baby at all. Like I love mm -hmm. family. Family is the most important fucking thing in the world. Have babies if you want them. But yeah, I remember I was just like oh, but yeah, I got away with everything. So I still do. I still do. It's ridiculous. My life is ridiculous. So. <laughs> I love that. Oh I kind of wish I had more. I only have two. I, I mean, if I had more, I feel like they would like help each other more and they would be raising. You have children. another litter. You can do more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And your yeah. paw. Definitely do more. At 40, Kourtney Kardashian I, just had a baby at 45. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do it now. <laughs> there was there no just rules got pregnant. Either. Pregnant at 40. Oh, Sienna Miller. She also just got pregnant. She's yes. at 45, I think. Yeah. yeah. She yeah. looks fine. Yeah. Oh, uh, hell. They would the have Disney babies so they girl. couldn't have babies anymore back in the old days. They would just like keep going, keep yeah, going. Yeah. Yeah. Vic, uh, who was it? Oh, Vin is all the I saw an article that's like all these Disney Channel girls are pregnant now and they're in their mid, they're about my age, so mid 30s, a bit to late 30s. Wow. They're all getting pregnant. Vanessa Hudgens, all those girlies. Yeah. So oh, yeah. everybody's doing surrogacy yeah. too. Like, um, oh, dude, if I really wanted a kid, that's the way I'd go. Zia, I'm the same. I'm like, if I were Kardashian <laughs> rich, I would just put it in someone else. Cool. Like, that would take a load Annie. off. Yeah. Absolutely. That's like the yeah. scariest part for me. I always <laughs> also used to say if I really changed my mind about having kids, I would adopt a kid. Definitely an Asian baby because they are so freaking cute. <laughs> uh -huh. They're adorable. They're with the yes. big chubby, chubby cheeks and the teeny tiny little eyes. Yes. Just make sure, just make sure if you adopt the Asian girlies as they get older, you have to get higher car insurance because we all know Asian girlies can't drive. <laughs> Is it actually a thing where like you charge more for? Her, um, well, I honestly don't background? know, but it's just a funny. No, it was joke. just a funny racist joke. It was. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm Canadian, so I don't know how the customs of America <laughs> <laughs> they do charge different for genders and age so yes, they mean, do yeah genders yeah and I, car I, I wouldn't be surprised if you, have a, if you have a red car in America you get charged more insurance wise if you mm -hmm. have a red car uh even more if it's a red sports car and if you're a boy and you drive a red sports car you might as well just put yourself into debt for the rest of your life um yeah. also they're so, paying so for their small cars, dicks Yes, I think it's yellow cars are the least amount of insurance because why you know, how is are you that? A, how are you going to miss a giant yellow highlighter going down? I know, the street? But, oh. think, I suppose. but wouldn't you think red would be the same? You would like, think, yeah, but I don't know. I guess yeah. it's because red usually equates to sports car, and so they go vroom vroom. I have no idea. Yeah. Maybe people, maybe there's something to do with people who buy red cars are more reckless, and there's some it's sort of study on that. Probably yeah. men. Yeah. Men usually, mm -hmm. usually men, but they're red yeah. sports car. Yeah. I noticed that <laughs> men are typically more aggressive drivers and women are typically more fucking dumb, dumb, not paying attention drivers. Oh, yes. I noticed that. Yes. Passenger and a Swedish <laughs> driver. I'm like, Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I prefer uh, to be a passenger princess if I can, but that doesn't always happen. It's, <laughs> yeah. Like Grand yeah. Theft Auto. You're not allowed to drive ever again. Oh, and then <laughs> I'm doing a drive to the States for a yeah. whole month. Yay. Oh, <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Hope you have triple insurance. <laughs> oh, which Keanu, we have to uh, chat with you later. Oh, okay. Great. Mm -hmm, Is it a mm -hmm. secret? Oh, a little bit. Oh, I love it. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful news. Wait, Is so it about what we chatted about, X Ray Girl? Yes. Yay. Oh, God. <laughs> it's exciting <laughs> oh my god isn't this marvelous uh we Absolutely. got a few shall we read them for chrysanthemum i don't even know what she's sure. talking about where did she leave off do we know hmm i know 10 25 um, i think the starred ones are the ones she hasn't read yet oh yeah. okay keanu stupid 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 okay uh let's they, see. i'm just reading them and they look i don't recognize any of these so i'm gonna go with this uh one. uh okay let's not skip any 
Okay, the stars one she hasn't read, right? I think okay. so. Okay. Um, this one, did you hear uh, B. Carswell say you should visit Iceland and try their bread? <laughs> oh. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. They bury it in the land and let the volcanic heat make it over a day. Also, they like zero crime and they are all white. Oh, coincidence? <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Very good. Very good. Oh, oh I'm I intrigued about this bread, um, though. So, Zach Efron did an episode in Iceland and Ooh. they made the bread there and he said it was pretty good. I bet Ooh. that tastes so good. I and thought it was about the, the geothermal good. energy, too. Wasn't that yeah. the Iceland? Is this because mm -hmm. Chrissy buried her uh, placenta? Is that why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that? Yeah, that's know. where that's oh. what he's okay. circling back to you. Well, thank you for the <laughs> boy. <laughs> uh, oh, Chrissy, he just know. wants an excuse to talk to you. Ah, true. Is this the Violet Brandani um, Facebook yeah. thing? Yeah, thank you, Jeremy David. Good advice. Probably. Jason Webster. Uh, thank you for the five A. Yen. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> Australian. Australian. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I was testing you guys. Um, now, <laughs> now it's time for another episode of Days the Kardashian of Days the Kardashians Lives. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. I've never okay. seen a single episode of the Kardashians. I don't really get the, the draw. Is there I, something the good about original? it? No, well, like the original, like the first few seasons were actually rather interesting back before they all had the plastic surgery mm, and yeah. all that because Kim was just like, Kim Kardashian was just kind of spreading her wings, so to speak, after the whole Ray J. Her legs as thing. well. Yes. Yeah. So it was kind of like her. <laughs> her it was, yeah, that, all of it. And um, so it was, I found the first couple of seasons or so rather entertaining. Bruce Jenner was still a guy. Um, still uh, a guy. Kendall. And Kylie were little and they were adorable. And then it went all weird. Once they started having all the surgeries, it went weird. It just it was not. Well, we all know. But yeah. don't, talk about, about, don't talk about Caitlyn like that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I feel like they're my friends. I feel like I've seen every mm. episode probably three. I don't I know that's so douchey and shitty, but like. I just loved their progression into um, absolute douche fame and and uh, riches. So yeah, I do like yeah. them. And there's just no, a <laughs> uh, freaking Bruce Jenner Olympian became a woman like live that is on wild. the air. Basically, it's that that became woman wild. of the year, which it's is so like wild. astounding. You know <laughs> It's even weirder because you watch, knowing what you know now, I've caught a couple of, and they don't play them very often. Mm -hmm. um, you really have to go back and look for them. But like the first few, probably four seasons, at least is where I started losing track after that. But And there's no indication. There's nothing. Like if, I went back you know and I was like, looking for. maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, even knowing once, once he transitioned into Caitlyn, I was like, there, there has to be, there must have been signs, right? There, there has to have been. There's there was nothing. Epi there was there's an nothing. episode maybe in, it might have been like the 12th season though. No, that he, okay. that they they were funny. like, Bruce, you have to cut your hair. We want you to cut your hair. <gasps> oh, and his he, hair did get longer. That is, and I, he, yes, that is true. He, she now, I guess, he was at the edge of tears. There like and now when you look back it's like oh he was just trying to wear his dresses in the garage with his long hair and like he wanted yeah. to be a pretty girl like all of them were and they were all pictures uh -huh. and you know he just wanted to be the pretty girl too well, sometimes i do that, wonder if that nothing. influence yeah uh yeah. if that influenced him to like well maybe yeah i don't i don't know though um let's see okay what, what is this name number 22 chip because our okay Come on, Arvid Ruth <laughs> Joseph Sanger Hosen. LL, mm -hmm. the name is Prussian. <laughs> the weird commercial <laughs> by Nakamoto uh, piano stops babies from crying too. Oh, good to know. Oh. Good to know. Uh, I yes, love how we already knew that we were going to pronounce his name wrong, and he was just like, it's fine. It's Prussian. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hi, stupid idiots. It's Prussian so now. <laughs> America. Uh, uh, ten dollars for the bean smile thank you Great. adam <laughs> tweet baby on camera very cute very cute he is so, so precious cute. they made a cute baby for sure oh, blah blah 
Hi. Hi, y'all. Keanu sent me. Yes, we did a cooking stream yeah. and then it came over here. Uh, have you heard the latest rumor about Chloe being in love, uh, being the love child of Chris Jenner and OJ Simpson? That is not a latest yeah. rumor. That is not a late really rumor. Famous. That is the oldest rumor ever. And I'm pretty sure it's true. I'm 100% convinced. I don't care what the DNA test they did said. I think that those results were faked. They well, were faked. She, wouldn't, she wouldn't take one. That's another thing, actually. Yeah, there is yeah, no way. So. There's no way. They look exactly like they look and she looks just like his other daughter. Uh, but they're no. Uh, uh. When you look into it, it is sort of like, wow. And uh, OJ it's can't write a tell all now. So I guess we'll never know. But um, yeah. and everybody signed NDAs. Did you see that? I'm Those sure that we're in like his his little deathbed area. He was like, hey, I know I'm dying, but I'm gonna need all y'all, including the nurses and doctors to sign this NDA. Hi. So like, if I what? did it, I did it. I beheaded your mother. Um, don't tell anyone. Yeah, but sign hey. this. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Dude. What? The front porch anyway. conservative. Thank you for the five dollars. Uh, good evening, Lady Mayor, or should I say Mother Mayor? I'm kidding. Ooh. I'm raising a glass to you and every gorgeous woman on this panel and Jessica as hot as ever. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank Hi, you. I'm Hi, <gasps> Candy. I can't help Candy. it. I had this on my snack stream and I have to finish this because it's so good. Have we got have these? What is it? So it's this um assortment from Ferrera, the Ferrera Rocher collection. Oh Ooh. yes, I've had them. Oh, no, I'm poor. Are they good? <laughs> it's retarded. Mm. <laughs> this one, I'm not even a huge fan of white chocolate. Like normally I like milk or dark, but eat one um, for us. This is, slowly. I literally just ate, I, so eat it slowly, lick it up. It, <laughs> uh, um, yeah, savor it for me. <laughs> it's like coconut. I know I got to get back on my diet tomorrow. It's like coconut, white chocolate, and hazelnut or something. It's one of the best things. It's so good. Oh my it's God. It's so good. I love I still never had a Pop Tart. <gasps> what? How dare you? What? Okay. X ray <laughs> girl, and just giving you a Pop Tart. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I don't know. <laughs> how am I the how am I just now finding out this information when we have been in the same because city? I, don't I know see how many a pop times. part there. Oh my god. I would have bought you the entire I would have gotten you the s'mores one, which are the best ones, the brown cinnamon sugar ones, which are the second best ones, the strawberry ones, and for funsies, depending on the holiday. That's too like many pop parts. Things. I just no, want a bite. Just pop one bite. Part. Oh my Not gosh, that's great, girl. We got to get your pop tart game strong. Mm -hmm. They're so mm -hmm. delicious. Uh, mm -hmm. the Do you have to like heat them tart. up too? No, you don't have to. <gasps> you don't have to. But you can. So I like, I prefer the fruit flavored ones, not toasted. So like cherry is my favorite. Raspberry and grape are pretty awesome too. And Do then brown the sugar. Grape? They have a grape one. It is awesome. I think Speaking it was of, like grape awesome. Kool Aid flavor. Is like grape Kool Aid. Flavor. Hi guys. Oh. Hello, Hi, ladies. Guys. How are you doing? Hello. We were just talking about pop so tarts. Pretty. You look so pretty. Thanks. I just got home from a comedy show. How oh, was nice. it? It was great. I hosted for the Pimp on a Blimp. Prime oh, Saturday night. Nice. It was oh, a lot good. of fun. Great show. Miss you, all of you. Miss you. I miss you, Lila. I feel like it's been years since I've seen you. Years, and it's been like two months. No. <laughs> busy, you had a busy here, weekend. You were working all weekend, weren't you? Yeah, I've I've had such an I um I did a comedy show yesterday at like an MMA fight. Cool. So I was having my Joe Rogan moment. <gasps> Very cool. Hell, yeah. Yeah. And then I uh, did a guest spot with uh, Sam Tripoli a couple nights in a row. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you're a busy gal. Man, I'm just getting busy. And then next weekend, next Friday, I will be in Austin with Alex Stein at the Vulcan. So I'll get your tickets. Yay. Let's party it. in Austin. That's Woo! like right down the street from me. What Tugs. Tugs. If you come, I'll put you on my guest list. Just come. <gasps> What date yeah. is this? The 26th, Friday the 26th. <gasps> Come, bring yeah. your mans, message me, and I'll put you on my list, okay? I'm so jelly. I want to live in Texas now. You know what, X-ray girl? You should live I'm in Texas. I'm here. We'll adopt Wait. you. 
Tux, did you move to tech? <laughs> Lila's oh, like, no. no. <laughs> like, she got never so mind. excited. She yeeted herself off the street. Yes, I'm in Texas. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm just Hi, outside Lila. of uh, Bastra. I'm in Texas. I'm just outside of Austin in, ba in Bastra. No way. Oh, when did you move there? November. Are you liking it? I love it. Because you were in it. Vegas before, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So rooms. that has that has to be nice then, because you moved from Vegas to Texas, and the weather's probably pretty similar. Um, actually, where mm. I'm at is hill country, um, which translates to I'm gonna take a dice and I'm gonna throw it, and that's the weather we're having. We were ah. we had a freeze in January. It literally got in the 20s in the morning, ah. and we had to like no. run water through our pipes. Um, to last week, the Vegas meetup was that last week. Yeah, last week I had to cancel my plane out to Vegas for the meetup because we had severe thunderstorms and golf ball hail that put holes through our skylights. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> and then it's been 80 degrees all week and cloudy. And then today the high was 65 and it's cold. So I, that, Texas is on drugs. Honestly, uh, That sounds wild. like you could have a tornado in that kind of weather. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. We, knock on wood. We have not. And I hope we never do. But it's a, it's a possibility. Yes. Okay. Um, knock on wood. No, we will manifest no tornadoes. Yeah, they just no had, tornadoes, some strange, uh, had some weird hail in um, where my parents live in South Carolina. They're like, <gasps> trees came down. They're like, it what was like 89 heck? degrees and it was hailing. I don't know. So it's yes. wild. I don't, I, mm. our joke was like, oh, it's the eclipse, which may or may not be accurate. I don't know, but it was, it was wild. I was like, I was not prepared for this kind of weather. Nobody warned me. I just figured it was hot and sticky because it's Texas. But mm -hmm. that's what I thought. I thought it would be <laughs> similar to Vegas. It would just well, be really like, hot. This goes to show what yeah. I know. Yeah, damn. yeah same. I, so, yeah, it's wild. So I like the heat. Wild. Yeah, I like I don't even mind the humidity. It doesn't bug me. I hate the cold. But that weird yes. moment where you're like, why all of a sudden is it gray and hailing? What's going on here? <laughs> we were just in the pool. That is. I, um. I don't know either uh, God or global warming. I'm not sure. It's, it, I don't know. And Where are you based, Keanu? I'm in New York, but um, um, okay. I'm from South Carolina. Well, I was born in Chicago, but we moved to South Carolina when I was very young or a baby, an ugly redheaded David Letterman baby. <laughs> Um, not possible. Not kind of a cat oh baby. Oh my god! A bigger baby. Uh, oh my god! Uh, and said, ugly babies make beautiful ladies. So I like I, that. I, thank cute. you. Exactly. I, I think Lila will come back soon. Poor um, Lila. She just like yeeted herself out. <laughs> <laughs> She got so excited about her show and me maybe help being able to go. And she just yeeted. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so X-ray, I haven't seen you in so long. It feels like what's going on with you? I miss I missed uh the beginning of the show. Um, I've been busy, just a lot of work, you know, playing games and making videos and uh just came back from Vegas. That was a fun trip. Uh got to see a lot of my friends out there and then uh got sick when I came back as per usual. Oh, and no. then oh, oh no, poor Lila. Lila. <laughs> and uh yeah, uh I've been planning uh <clears throat> I've been planning a road trip down to the States for June. That's what I was kind of alluding to earlier. So, oh, yeah. ah, that means you'll drive through Texas. You have to pick me up on your way to Dallas. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, I hope to see you. Yes, definitely. Isn't that out of the way? <laughs> no. It's like on the west side? Ah, uh -uh. That's a two-hour oh, drive that way. Okay, oh, I need to, really. I need to look at a map. I'm really bad. I mean, at I mean, depending yeah. on where you're coming from, maybe. I mean, if you're coming from the East Coast, then maybe. But I could be. I'm spatially <laughs> challenged as well. I'm not a cartographer. Uh, I was like, it's west of Dallas, isn't it? Nope. <laughs> I don't know, um, actually, it might be. I have to look now. I don't know. In where in Canada are you actually, X Ray? Oh, Toronto area. Toronto. D did you? My betrothed just drove to. <laughs> I can't believe he did it. But he drove all the way to Nova Scotia to see he Frankie McDonald. Yeah. Oh, that is yeah. so adorable. Yeah. See, that oh, video clip. Yeah. What's that? that was one of my no, that video clip was one of my favorite things in the world. <laughs> yes. Yes. Frankie and Gino meet. I can't believe I need they to watch this. Where is this? 
Um, the what's that? I'm sorry. Where is this Frankie and Gino meeting clip? Uh, you can go to my um. I'll show you if if, if you because if I pull something up, my computer computer may. It's explode. on YouTube. Your YouTube. It's on my YouTube channel. It's Frankie. Gino meets Fra Gino and Carl meet Frankie McDonald for the first time. Uh, so they okay. basically they didn't. Frankie McDonald is a premier weatherman. Um, and sort so of uh, autistic, but he's very, he's a pillar of the community. And for four years on Gino's show and in Not Water, he's like, you will come to Nova Scotia for the eclipse. You will stay at the Holiday Inn, da, da, da. And Gino was just like, I have to drive there. I don't even know if he's going to want to hang out with us, but Aww. they found him. <laughs> they just found him walking down the street and he spent a lot of time. Walking down the street. Yeah. Just randomly. Make him yes, a and they live streamed the whole thing. It was adorable. Yeah. Oh my god! It was only so Gino can do something that crazy. <laughs> of course, he's going, and it works. He's going. Do you want to go? I said no. Absolutely, I do not want to drive to Canada. <laughs> like absolutely not. Um, but I'm so glad they went. Um, oh my gosh, it was so cute. So I think they drove. I think it's 18 hours both ways, and they did it in oh my four god. days. Oh my so, god. Yeah, it was so wild. just driving the entire oh my god. Well yeah. good for him. <laughs> no, Gino and I just we we <laughs> he, I don't think he's a bad driver. I'm just a skittish passenger. But uh his friend Carl drove the whole way pretty much. Oh no, they took turns actually. Uh but Gino oh, Carl? drives a stick shit. Oh, yes, Carl. he's yeah. so More happy. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> I know. Look at him. <laughs> no, wait, can I? I'll share this. Yeah, share it. You can see. Hang on, let's see. Okay. Um. So we just. I, <laughs> look at them. He just found them on the street. Oh, so cute. Dog. This is during the eclipse. They were there for. Yes. Right. And I mean, he's so tall. Frankie. Oh my I was god. Gonna say, I knew Frankie was tall, but he's really tall. I was oh streaming with them. They were five minutes away from the Holiday Inn, and Gino goes, "Pull over." Pull over. <laughs> Frankie runs out of the car. <laughs> and there he is. And they just embraced. And like, it was absolutely fucking adorable. Oh, my God. Oh, so cute. my God. You did it. Did it. <laughs> <laughs> they went to Dooley's uh, later on. And they he was like, they're like, where are you going, Frankie? He's like, I will meet you at Dooley's at 830 tonight. And oh then he just God. went on his way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So cute. That's Look how happy insane. he is. Oh my God. Both of them are so happy. This <laughs> was a just... lot of years coming. Yeah. Four years. Four years. And then Gino just comes out of the shower one day. He's like, I got to drive to see Frankie. I have to do oh. it. I have no idea if he's even going to want to hang out with us. He's a very busy man. But they hung out the whole time. They watched the eclipse in the in the parking lot. There's Carl. Amazeballs. Yes. Baby, I wish we were I could just have showing your video of you and Frankie. It's very wholesome. Yeah. It was wholesome. So I love that well. guy. I know. Look has, at him. I'm going to say to them: Has anyone ever? And this is going to sound dumb, but have any of you ever met Shaquille O'Neal? No, no. But I have met Michael Strahan. He's a very no. large man. I've never met him either. This takes one minute. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Take but, your time. But whenever you meet someone, like, it's amazing how many you'll be in a room. Like, if you're in a room with 15 people, they someone's met him, and they always say the same thing. You know who he is, right? Forgive me if I'm treating you like it. He's a giant ex-NBA star, and they say when you're in his presence, he's just a giant dude with a giant heart, and you feel that. Yeah. Frankie McDonald mm -hmm. is that. Yeah. Like, when I stood next to him, like, uh... I'm the coolest fucking man. Fuck Shaquille O'Neal. I don't need to meet him, but yeah, it yeah. was. I'm sorry. I just love telling that story. I'll let you. That's sweet. You lost That's 800 sweet. viewers. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No. oh my god. Your cat sucks. <clears throat> okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I love cats. Uh, so yes, uh, XY, we're excited for your road trip. Um, mm -hmm. it's be so much fun. Will uh, Mark be going with you? No, he can't no. take that much time off work, unfortunately. And basically, this is like the longest time I'll be away from him. But um, I'll be, I'll be with people most of the time. I think on the trip, so it's good. Distance it's good. makes the heart grow fonder. That's right, girl. We're already. I've already. I'm already started making plans. <laughs> I'm like, we're going to go here and we're going to go here and we're going to go here. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
all good. I love it. I love it. Next, like, we gotta take her here, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Where all these different pop are, parts. Where all are you going in America? Uh, so the plan is to kind of swing that way to New York, go to Texas, because the 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 main cons I'm trying to hit are Dallas Fan Expo, Cosmic Summit, which is in North Carolina, and then mm -hmm. um, Nickel City Con in Buffalo. So. Nice. Uh, Oh, cool. That's the only reason because it's all kind of like successive weekends that it makes sense to do something like that, then fly all over the place mm -hmm. and live out of a Make suitcase. A road trip and see yeah. America on the road. Yeah. Like, Texas is huge all too. That's, that's like I know. I just can't wait to go to Bucky's. <gasps> the <gasps> only thing. <laughs> if you swing by and get me, if you on are on that side and you come through and pick me up, we have one in my town. It's five minutes from Ooh. my house. Ooh. I want to go to Bucky's, Bucky's to Colorado, so too. You'll add eight hours to your trip just in Bucky's because they really I, do have everything. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Everything. We can shop for Bucky's merch. They have blankets and onesies and tank tops and bathing suits and T-shirts. I mean, like, scrunchies I was and <laughs> really lucky. So when I went to Texas for a fan meetup, someone gave me, like, a Bucky's care package of, like, their most popular items. Mm, and, oh, the food was just so good. <laughs> the jerky. The beef jerky beef was jerky. the best part. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. So I definitely want to buy and some of those. The candy selection and the fudge and the, oh my God. Mm -hmm. oh my gosh. The brisket like a, sandwich. We have to get you a brisket. Oh, and there's sandwich. hot sauces too. They have a bunch of hot sauces. Yeah. That are really and they have great. pickled yeah. eggs and pickled all kinds of stuff. They have a bunch of chips. Ooh. They have, they sell wine. They sell beer. They sell ice cream. They sell all kinds of stuff. On the oh, the a shit show. The are if you want to, oh, yeah, your home, uh, maybe I'll take a picture like Courtney Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> literally the nicest bathrooms ever. Right. The Bucky's bathrooms like, are so nice. <laughs> you should be like, hey, Courtney, what up? Uh -huh. I raise you <laughs> one more. <laughs> I'm wearing six inch heels instead of your four inches. Yes, the art I think in rock and roll. Ha <laughs> <laughs> right. Love it. Oh my gosh. That sounds like so much fun. I'm excited. Got Plus, me I just love America. America. The That's land is good. beautiful. Um, mm -hmm. let's see here. Uh, I don't have another article because uh we're flying blind here, but uh um, let me and, see if there's anything she posted. Yeah. Um, uh, and Zia, in the meantime, and we'll read a couple of super chats as well. And what's going on with you, Zia? How's your streaming? How's how's your snacking? How are the new boobs? You know. Oh, all Still of it's good. Good. The streaming is good. Great. Snacking is good. Boobs are good. Thank you so much. These, I did not realize how fucking big these things are. God damn it. They are giant. <laughs> like, they're huge. They and are I, giant. They look amazing. Thank you. I'm very, ha I'm very, very happy with them until it's time for me to go out into the world. And then I'm like, yeah. how the hell do I cover these things up? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you're you're an expert at them, Zia. I could teach you a few things. <laughs> yeah, I, we're going to need your Walmart help. Walmart sells actually, like, I'm actually wearing some right now. Walmart sells like stickies that cover the nipples. So if you don't feel like if you're not a bra girly and you think you can get I'm away with no bra, bra necessarily, um, you get these little stickies. They're super cheap at Walmart. You just wash them off at the end of the day with some soap and water, let them dry, and they restick. I'm wearing them right now. You can't even tell. That like, sounds I don't delightful. Have any nipples. Yeah. Yeah. Walmart sells them super cheap. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm getting some of those because that would definitely be because <laughs> I either go through where Not I wear a sports bra out, which is nice because they are really heavy and it just feels really supportive. Um, or mm. I wear like a regular bra, which then makes them look like three times the freaking size and they're already triple D's. <laughs> so like without a bra, they're big. When I put a bra on, I'm like, oh my God. So that actually sounds really nice so that I can just wear something casual without my nipples just being like, bam. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. No one wants that. We want your nipples like Bam, right? They want your nipples bam. like Bam until you walk around and people like I am not. They used, stare. I was yeah. I was always so flat mm. chested. I'm not used to the the attention mm -mm. the same way out. But it's like it's insane how what boobs do. I people. get that. It's now, like, now, now, do you understand why I try to hide them? All yes, the time? <laughs> yes, I do. Just get them stickies. It's okay. <laughs> Free the nipple. Oh my god. Lila, oh, you're back. I'm back. Yay. I got yeeted, but I was back, and now I'm back for the titty talk. We <laughs> oh. Oh. Except for boobies. Yes, we're just, we're just over here. Every time, 
boobs. Every time I talk with Zia, we have to talk about boobs at least once. Every time. It's boobs and food. Yeah. <laughs> Which we've I covered like already. Yeah. Yes, we covered food. Now we're on to boobs. Every now we were in the bathroom and I was like, can I, can I see them? Yes. Like, <laughs> of course. Bo- boobs are great, but you know who has a great butt? Forrest, mommy. She's really? got good Ooh. booty. Yes. All right, pick, pick her and that- happen. I was gonna say like Chrissy's using her boobs for actual boobs things right now. Like, like that's little. true. Or what boobs are for? What they're functioning for? Oh, You're gonna make boobs. the chat a wreck Thank again. you, Lila. Thank you. You're welcome, boy, mommy. So, uh, show was good, Lila, and now you're back just to hang out. Yeah, with I that. hope I don't get yeeted again. I don't know what the hell that was about. That you know what mean. I think it is? I gotta tell you guys. I performed stand-up at this barn, okay? That's where the MMA fight was, was at this, like, barn two hours away, like, in Fort Worth. And um, up the stairs, there was this room that was, like, it was, like, a living room. And then up the stairs more, there was, like, this bedroom. And there was a doll that was locked and cased in – it was so weird. It was, like, a So it was a haunted doll, basically, is what you're saying. Was it a Raggedy Ann doll? (laughs) It, I don't. It, it looked very no, spooky, thank you. But imagine it being like encased in glass. I'm like, oh no. And then the doll was like tilted. No, no. And I'm no, like, no. is there some sort of like spirit that's yes. encased in this glass? Like yes. that's why the doll's in there like that. Do Who's not the- let the Lila. Whatever you do, do not let the doll don't, out. Don't open the case. <laughs> Which is the couple in the movie that it's based on a true story? That's that why I was all- asking if it was a Raggedy Ann doll. That's the Warrens. Elizabeth uh, Warrens. Yes. yes. The Conjuring. Yeah. Abigail. The the Love real Abigail. So the real Abigail is a Raggedy Ann doll that that yeah. everybody in the seventies had, and she's creepy. Like she's super creepy, and she sits in the cage, a glass thing and they bless it every i think if they well they're both unfortunately dead now so i guess their kids do it now but they have a priest come in and bless the area and yeah, well, of all their tchotchkes of evil things I know. yeah they do like a, a, a blessing room. and they throw holy water on it and it's like yeah, I would yeah. not want to be responsible for that. Hell right, no. the stress, <laughs> the absolute pressure because you know at some point whether it's their kids or their grandkids or their grandkids' grandkids, there's going to be one insolent little brat that's going to be like, I don't want to do this. This is stupid. I don't believe in any of this. And he's going to open all the cages, all of them, and let all evil loose because he's an insolent teenager. You know what's going to happen? It's going to happen. Oh, like Jumanji. <laughs> I have one more for Oh, yeah. Jumanji. <laughs> there's always one. <laughs> there's always I am one a kid. I'm super, super skeptical person, but there's still a, like, I typically don't believe in a lot of stuff, but there, for some reason, there's enough in there, like superstition or fear in there, that I'd be like, nope, those are staying right in those fucking cages. <laughs> like, I'm not opening a single piece of glass, even right. though in the back of my head, like, or I'd say out loud, I'd be like, yeah, I don't believe that. That can't be real. And then in the back of my mind, I'm like, don't touch those fucking Kate. Don't touch that glass. Well, don't open is, that door. <laughs> is, even if you don't believe in it, and that's totally fine, somebody does somewhere. So who's to, like me? If I'm like, oh, no, I don't really believe in that stuff. I'm still not going to go open the door because clearly that person believes. And what if they're right? Yeah. <laughs> what, exactly. Yeah, what, what if, if they're right? <laughs> That's My bad. It was crazy. No, crazy. I, I, I would drink three white claws and open that bitch right up. I mean, there'd, <laughs> wow. be, there'd be no stopping me. Like, actually, like Keanu ridiculous. would throw six in there with a doll. <laughs> so we put six in a glass box for the rest of our life. She's haunting my life. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. No, I mean, mm-hmm. I, I'm still sort of uh, not. It's a doll. It's a raggedy end doll, and the superstition is if you let it out of the box, all hell will break loose. Yeah, yeah. Yes. she's there evil. Are... She's possessed by a demon. If you've ever seen the con- the well, the Conjuring movies, they, the spinoff was Abigail mm-hmm. is the doll. If you've ever watched those movies or know anything about the the movies or about the lore, she's possessed by a demon, and they ended up capturing her and and locking her in this glass cage, and she's been there for fifty years. 60 ah. years I think it is. Yeah. So and they it's very don't open it, don't touch it. And they like, have a priest come in and they the priest literally, well, they used to every I think it's every week or whatever. They come in and this priest like blesses it with holy water and does a whole thing. Crazy. And it's like oh. Hey. 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 Sorry. Sorry to interrupt the holy water. Oh, I like this subdued lighting. 
Okay. We went off on a tangent. Of we we didn't even talk about, about Courtney dolls. that much, to be honest. Oh, uh, <laughs> no. it's okay. We talked about. We're now. We didn't talk about boobs. We did talk about boobs, though. I just lo- I learned that I may have been um <laughs> possibly choking my son with milk. I was like, <laughs> what? what? Why? I was like, why does he make this coughing, sputtering noise? Like, and then he sort of sometimes he gets. I thought it was just general fussiness, oh. and then he pushes away. And then Frank's googling it. He's like, he's like, you might be <laughs> shooting milk down his throat. And You're I was like, you're fucking too hard. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Oh, <laughs> so he's fucking too hard. I was you're, like, again, you have no idea. Like, I have no idea how much is coming out. I don't know. You're oh, too no. good of a mother. You're too good at what you're, <laughs> you're doing. You're too giving, Chrissy. <laughs> too well. <laughs> too much milk. Too much. They, just, they described it online. They're like, imagine drinking out of a garden hose at full force. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> you waterboarded him. You milk boarded him. <laughs> <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds so horrible. And I, here I am thinking I have the opposite problem. Like, no, see, no. you're doing there great. You go. You're successful at milk. He is a very milk. well fed. <laughs> Literally a cow. I'm... He'll be a healthy boy. Yay. Cow. He's got an appetite, that one, then. <laughs> Every two he, hours. He doesn't know when to stop. He's just like, give me more. Every just two like hours during pet. the day and then every three to four at night. Woo. Oh, God, you probably don't sleep very much, do you? Nope. Oh. You sleep when I'm dead. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I always thought I'd. <laughs> it, it's weird because this you need less sleep than you do think. you do you um do the thing that they I, I don't know who they are but I've heard that when the baby sleeps you're supposed to be sleeping too so like when he That's naps bullshit. during the day <laughs> you're like no bullshit. oh when the baby naps you nap no when the baby naps you're finally like oh god I can get some work done I can like throw some <laughs> laundry out I can I, yeah, laundry, shower yeah. Uh, eat what idiot in the boy run media wrote that that's what, what I want to know. It's like this is who they are. I don't know who they are, but I yeah. higher up. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh yeah. When the baby sleeps, you sleep. So when the baby cries, you cry. It's all just <laughs> hashtag twinning. Time, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. When the baby live streams, you live stream. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so was God. that his debut? I suppose it was. First time. Oh. It was. No. Yay! I'm so glad I was here for that. He was like, <laughs> he kind of did a, like a fart smile too for a minute. Like it was kind of like he he <laughs> farts with his whole little body because it takes so much. <laughs> like. Ugh. <laughs> has, he, has he given you a blowout yet, Chrissy? Have you gotten a blowout? No, I haven't gotten yeah. like the shitting up the back yet. I hope you never do because as I've have four nieces and it's not pretty. Oh, it's a lot, and you basically just have to shower them at that Hi. point. Yeah, <laughs> I my stepsister literally would just like carry the child into the shower, and that was that oh. was the, that was their first shower because there's nothing mm-hmm. you can do. There's nothing you can do. Even I thought it would happen well. today because I put him in white pants, but um, <laughs> <laughs> no. you're oh, risking it. Oh my god, he's, he's ready for the Hamptons. I love it. He's adorable. He's been covered with in the linen. He's having a nautical moment. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Apparently, babies they really shoes. they really like um just black and white photos. Like that's they're in totally entranced by that for some reason because the high oh. contrast it, like it helps with making like I guess brain the connection. Brain? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Well, you look beautiful. You don't have pink Yay. eye anymore. You're pink. Oh my god, I forgot about that. <laughs> I had pink eye twice. I had it like. A couple weeks before I gave birth, and then I had it. I got it in the hospital because I left my contacts in for like four days straight. So, you, well, wow. you look like yourself again. So that's I feel good. better. Hi, Lila. Hi, Zia. Hi, Hi. you're a mother. I know. I, I can't know. believe it. Mom, it's my crazy. first time seeing you as a mother. It's crazy. Did it feel like a really long time? Because I. You know, I'm not, the, we weren't the ones being pregnant, but it feels like you were just telling me that you were pregnant and there was a bean in there and now you it, have the bean. It flew by. It absolutely it. 
I, because I, what helped is not knowing that I was pregnant for seven weeks. I think that <laughs> that's like a fast forward two months almost. That took a lot of time off the top, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you miss being pregnant? No, no. Who are these people you that look so pregnant? uncomfortable? <laughs> She's like on the chair, like, I can't get up. Who? I, I was always having an upside down oh, no. turtle moment. I was just like, if I can finally lay on my stomach again, I can lay on my back again. I don't understand these women that miss being pregnant. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I think also because you're shorter too. I, I, if you're a taller woman, that might help with the um, like center swelling. of gravity. So, oh, why okay, would yeah. you prefer being like less mobile? Who? Um, Why would I be like, yeah, I liked it better when I was 180 pounds. Yeah, let's go back to that. Maybe it's like an attention <laughs> thing and like I don't really have to do anything. I can't with child. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah I think so. More Skittles and more hot dogs now. It was getting <laughs> frustrating at yeah, the last uh every last month or two. I was like, nothing fits. Everything is tight on me. Like, you were leaking. I was <laughs> leaking. I do remember you saying when you first got pregnant, you were like, I'm not doing it. I'm not getting maternity pants. And then I saw <laughs> I, Yeah, I, I really <laughs> waited. I waited a long time. <laughs> there's there's no not getting maternity pants. That, that's, that's the first thing to not fit you. And then, oh, God. <laughs> Your underpants get tied on you, so then you also have to buy maternity underpants. Which oh my that god, I didn't aren't think sexy? Of that. None of them. None of them are sexy. I'll just go commando, maybe. I don't know. Oh, no, yeah. because you're leaking, X-ray. Yeah. You can't just go commando. Wait, Aww. what are you? What are you leak? Is it pee? It depends. Well, while you're pregnant, it's just it depends. It's juicy. It depends. It's juicy. There. It's like burgers. <laughs> Pussy burgers. Yeah, ew, no, no, it's not like it's not gross or anything. Because what I read, I expected a lot more gross stuff to come out, but it didn't. It just was like juicier. And then after you, oh, huh. after you give birth, like you definitely have to wear uh, pads and things. But oh yeah, <laughs> but now I'm like good. Basically, it's a uh, it's healed up. So that's and awesome. It's, it's amazing no how fast. Six, yeah. six weeks, right? Six weeks. No, no yeah, no exercise, no sex for six weeks. Ugh. What week? It's okay, the breastfeeding will help with the calorie expenditure. I thought you were gonna say with sex. I was really oh. excited. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I thought you were saying breastfeeding like tightens your puss. I was gonna be like, oh, let me get back to it then. <laughs> I'll get those I don't care if he's drowning. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> he's like, oh no, no, no. like what a <laughs> That was untoward. <laughs> it was untoward, but it was funny. Yes. What, Lila? Eleven days old now. Yeah, oh 11 my days gosh, old. 11 days. Oh my gosh, he's 11 days old. Wow, he's only been here for 11 days. That's crazy. He's so fresh. And like Just you said before, fresh. Chrissy, the fact that we make it here, like I have, you know, I have friends who are trying and are having miscarriages and stuff, and it's like the fact any of us make it here is it's just, a miracle. It's such it's a miracle. miracle. Well, and think it about is. all the sperms and the eggs. Like, how in the ever living crap were we actually existed? It's it, it when you when I think about it, it's wild. Right. I just like to say that we all started life as a winner. Right. We did. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we're the winning <laughs> sperms. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <Yay. laughs> it's so true. It, it is makes true. Me feel I think so much better about myself. <laughs> and like the sperm has all the ideas and the egg is just the apartment that it grows in, right? No, it's half and yeah. half. Does That's what really the boy run media, media will tell you. I'm probably. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Sperm's got all the ideas to egg to this, this little jelly house, you know. Jelly the sperm house. does decide if it's a boy or a girl though. Yeah. Yeah, which is why dads need to have more uh parental responsibility. Or <laughs> responsibility. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I still I don't believe I was pregnant. I can't believe I gave birth and I can't believe he's here. So I don't know when it'll really sink in. Well, Maybe you have high school graduation. Years to yeah, when he goes off to college, she'll be like, Oh, I had a I have a kid. Oh, but who yeah. is that? <laughs> it's never yeah. sick. Yeah. It's weird. Even when the kid is 30. 
you'll still be like, I can't believe this. Oh, I feel that way about my niece because I like I lived with my niece and my sister for, for a, a lot of years when she was a baby. I like took care of her. I watched her for a long time. And she's now like 14 and I'll see pictures of her and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, when did this happen? It's crazy. Wow. How fast be a happens. great aunt pretty soon. So like, yeah, it's crazy what happened. Yeah, it's so fast. It's fast. So I fast. can't believe he was with us at all the shows. He went to so many shows. Yeah. He was on stage. Oh, well traveled. He <laughs> was at all the gigs from LA. No, he was at Anime Matsuri. I just didn't he know was he was there. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> He's had a lot of adventures in his little life before. Yeah. It was like, stop <laughs> drinking White Claw. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <not> here burning. <laughs> From, no. yeah, from Anime Matsuri to Granville, Pennsylvania, and everything in between. Wow. And at the San Diego Zoo, remember when we had a ride around on those things? Dude, that was so great. <laughs> he was pepper sprayed. He oh, was pe that's yeah. True. And never sprayed, but fell down the stairs at Stand Up New York. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I still feel like that was my fault. Like a pretty full life, even before yeah. he was born. Yeah, oh my God. and we thought you were so pregnant then at Stand Up New York. I we walked down those little stairs. You followed me. You fell right down. I didn't even notice and just kept <laughs> going like a fucking asshole. And then <laughs> you like you caught yourself on your knees, and I'm like, oh God, this child. <laughs> I know. Oh, Thank God, happened? my hands and knees caught it. That's uh, from college. I built up those skills. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people give birth on like give birth on hands and knees. Like that's a fairly normal thing nowadays for some people. Oh, really? really? Yeah, like it's like I they're think animals. Traditional. <laughs> I think that's you how know, they did it in the wild. Yeah. Yeah. So much of this is you feel like livestock. You know, you're mooing through your contractions, you're <laughs> spraying did milk you everywhere. Moo? <laughs> I did. I made animal noises when I thought I could do it without an epidural and I was just doing the Pitocin contractions for four insane hours i just was like because the contractions come every two minutes and they last for like 30 to 40 seconds and it's like just crippling pain like at an 11 oh my and, god and you can just i like, can't imagine what i don't know what it's maybe having the iud put in it's think the only thing the, i can imagine yeah but think yeah. of like the worst yeah maybe the iud pain or like the worst cramps but That's just everything's bad. jacked and it just cr it just goes up your whole spine, yeah. and it wraps around like your whole midsection. Oh, mother! I've definitely talked to a lot of women who are like, "Yeah, I'm not. I don't want to get an epidural." And every time they're <laughs> like, "Yeah, yep, <laughs> that was me." Me <laughs> too. But they yeah. kind of say you forget it, right? Because they want. I mean, your body wants to have more. You want to procreate and have more babies, so you kind of like forget it. Don't you kind of from the first time? I don't know, that's what I've heard. Because you'd have to. Because why would you fucking do that again? Yeah, like, I actually was like, a trauma the, response. Yeah, the pain was not as bad as like the circumstances of the birth, like being freaked out and worried about him, and like just worrying that everything would be okay was more intense than like the pain. The pain is like no big deal. It yeah. goes, comes and goes. You're a tough ass bitch. That's why. Oh, yes. I, right. I I so, said I, I wanted you to have the maximum legal limit of drugs, but you. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you tried it, and then well, when it was time, you're like, "All right, give me the give me the thing." Be they fine. put freaking fentanyl in my epidural, which I didn't want, but I I, wasn't, I didn't have the presence of mind to ask what was in there. So was it pretty? Did it feel pretty good? Oh, so good. I did yeah. have the desire to have a knee on my neck. I couldn't explain why. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You cooler, it's fine. Don't worry. Okay, this will help oh the pushing. Just, just could somebody put a little, <laughs> just a little knee. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know when it's just too much, and you're like, okay, <laughs> fuck this, I can't. Yeah, I felt bad. Oh, no. look, super chats. Be cars. Well, you should visit. Oh, we already did this. The we Iceland did. with the bread. We did like a few of them. Yes. Just yeah, I was watching upstairs. You guys did a great job. Um, do you remember Adam Choi? He was uh. He was yeah. the guy who produced the show in L.A. in Sherman Oaks where we had the yes. guy knock out Aww. the, uh, the, buddy. He's not the buddy. fans. <laughs> Adam. He's a libertarian Adam. dork like me. He's all involved like I am. So we're both. Yes. Yeah. And I love we that just, he does that, that he produces the shows out there. Like, I love that he does that. 
It was awesome. Did we do this one from Chippicus? Yes. Okay. Mm, I should have probably done a marking of some sort. Um, no, it's okay. Bob below. Hey, y'all. Keanu yeah. sent me. Have you heard the latest rumor about Chloe being the love child of Chris Jenner and OJ Simpson? What? <laughs> uh, congrats we on were, the baby. <laughs> we were like, right. that's not a latest rumor. <laughs> yes, that's yeah, I mean, forever. Forever, forever, right? This rumor forever. is at least 20 years old. I but think we read good. all the way until. Let's see. But it's coming back up again because OJ has snuffed the bucket. Yes. Yeah, people think that he's been reincarnated into my son. <laughs> oh my god well, do they so think that How does that even there's work? gonna be an oh, article people, now people think he's gonna be white oj <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh poor g no. good evening lady mayor or should i say mother mayor kidding raising a glass to you and every gorgeous woman on this panel and jessica wow <laughs> wait a second am i reading this wrong no, you read it right. He's, he's saying you're hot also. Yeah. As hot as ever. He's very sweet about that. It's great. I he's thought he said sip. every every gorgeous <laughs> woman and Jessica, meaning that you're not. I sort of ran gorgeous. through it because I'm like, I don't think he meant this. I was confused as well. So, yes, he, he was especially comment, complimenting Jessica. No, he's a Jessica, gentleman. Yeah, as hot as ever, says, says he yes. about Jessica. Mm -hmm. Jason Webster, Exhibit A, Kourtney Kardashian does wear Victoria's Secrets. Yeah. Jason Webster again. My mother says I was born first. The hockey mask came later. I don't understand this. Jason, Jason. from uh, oh, duh. Oh, duh. <laughs> My goodness, Jason. <laughs> Bad luck, boys. Force mommy rules. Yes, she does. <laughs> Thank yes, you. Push ups. True. Us whites start life with translucent <laughs> privilege. <laughs> <laughs> JB, the winning sperms would be a great band or team name. Yeah, like that. <laughs> the winning sperms. Yeah, they would open for the white stripes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Jeremy. Seattle sperms. Yes. Yes. Okay. The sports team. Jeremy Parker, at what age can the bean be able to ride a dog like a horse? Better yes. get a dog a saddle. Ooh, I great, that. great question. Try it now. <laughs> Can I please come with you to take the bean to ride ponies when he's old Aww. enough to ride ponies? Oh, I love when it's the pygmy ponies and they're yeah. so freaking adorable. The little oh. ones. It's so cute. Uh. It's a tiny bean on a tiny pony. I can't uh. take it. I can't <laughs> take it. So and I'm like, I wish I was that small so I could experience it. Like, you are. I like, can. Oh. Tiny Those animals. Tiny oh my God. ponies freak me out. <laughs> Creepy. Mr. Girl, I didn't even ask you how Vegas was. Oh, it was so good. It was so fun. Got to hang out with a lot of people. Um, uh, there was like three nights of meetup, so I was exhausted after wow. that. But, three nights? Uh, yeah, first night was Film Threat, and then Wednesday, Thursday was uh, Friday Night Tights, and I, I'm just, I was tired. Every wow. day was something, but, you know, we made it. How much of it was like familiar faces, people you've met already versus new people? Like half? Wow. Half. That's so cool. it was, uh, it's nice when you see the same people again because, you know, you're like, oh my God, it's you. Uh, the one guy, Nick, I've Smoking seen him guy. at every meetup, including the one in London, which is what? wild. So, yeah. Oh, wow. London? Married guy, so. London. Yeah. No. I'm in surprise. That's no. really cool. So. And you saw Smoking Guy was there? Smoking Guy was there as well. I didn't get a chance to talk to him. Um, I'm trying to think of other ones you'd know, but like my mind is running blank. I ran on pretty much three hours of sleep each night. Wow. Well, that whole Vegas thing where the... I, the air they pump air to keep you awake. I just I couldn't sleep. I'd they wake keep up. They you awake. They, they figure out so some early to pump in the morning. All the hotels. Yeah, I like five six o'clock and the worst part is my husband he would be in bed till about noon and i'd be like sitting there being like i hate you why can't i sleep like you did you just wake what him is up? this about the pumping no. air what like oxygen they pump oxygen yeah they pump oxygen keep to keep you up and awake. keep you yeah gambling not in the longer. rooms i they don't do know in the casinos maybe but in the they, casinos, yeah they've also pumped like smelly goods 
So mm-hmm. like you, what? It, it covers the cigarette smell. Uh, yes. Oh, exactly. yeah. But I don't ever. I don't know. I mean, maybe. But not. I know. don't feel like we spent eight days at at a, at the Rio. I don't think I slept once. I yeah. stayed up the entire <laughs> time. That's because it's the Rio. <laughs> also, oh, speaking of the Rio, speaking of the Rio, though, they just reopened the wine cellar in the Rio, like la- the end of last month. Uh, the, uh, which uh, has not been opened. No, the one in the basement, the the wine cellar in the right. Rio in the basement, and Ooh. it's hasn't been opened since they shut down in 2020 for you know beer bug reasons. Oh, um, wow. so I'm very excited. I, that was my plan. One of my plans when I was going to Vegas for the meetup, and unfortunately, so the next time I go. Uh, and the next time any of y'all go, you can check it out because that's actually a really nice place in there, the wine cellar mm-hmm. in the Rio. Oh, that's I cool. think you were mentioning this when we were when we mm-hmm. were in Vegas. Yes, I remember yeah. this. Okay. It's like, no, yeah. they're not open. But yeah, they're Where open now. So Aww. very <laughs> cool. <laughs> Weren't yeah. they gonna demolish the Rio? They were going to level it, and we were like, no, not the Rio. Yeah, oh I get it. Oh. I guess somebody else bought it out and they're trying to, um, I don't know when this happened. I just saw a brief thing about it. They bought out the Rio and um, they're trying to kind of renovate it and bring it back, which I'm perfectly fine for. Good. Maybe they listened to our our live streams. Yeah, they probably did. I assume. She is old. She's old girl. (laughs) She's a whole girl. Yeah, she is old. We thought they were going to start with our room first, like just demolish (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> while you're in there <laughs> wasn't that yes. the time you guys got pulled over by the uh airplane people too oh, um yeah. on our way flying yeah. out from vegas to dallas yeah, yeah. because yeah. you guys needed to wear more pants <laughs> where my tampon string was raking across the floor of the airport <laughs> that was a good that time was traumatic you were literally <laughs> fucking naked from the waist down yeah yeah it was I'll talk about it in therapy later. It yeah. Really, oh my god. Know, I feel it like quite interesting. Though, after you gave birth, you'd probably be like, ah, it's not that big of a deal. No. Everyone in that hospital saw my cooter, including the guy whose job it is to take away the trays. <laughs> She's like, get in here, take a look. Check yeah. it out. Such a case. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Show me what you're working with. Yeah, you just like stop caring at some point because you're just like. Yeah, just get it out of me. Help yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, that vacuum, use it. <laughs> no, they didn't use a vacuum. Thank God. I don't think they did, at least. You know, I don't know what they did. Is that a thing they <laughs> vacuum it out? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they, they, just, they keep like a, a Dyson. Like a Dyson? <laughs> yeah. It's V6, V15, just to pull mm-hmm. the paint. There's that baby attachment. It's, it's, a, wet dry, it's a wet dry vac. Yeah. <laughs> dust buster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just charging on the wall. And they like pick it up. Yeah, like, we had a dust buster growing up. It was like so fucking weak, but my mom just kept it for years. It was like on life support. I'm like, just get a new one. Like maybe yeah, maybe the hospital has like a central vac. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Those things have pork. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what's this for? You know what I learned? I don't know what I was listening to. They keep like even they keep like whiskey and blow in, in hospitals too. What? Yes. What the hell was I listening to? I don't I mean, know. I believe blow, but not whiskey. It's got a great quality blow for, too if it's at the hospital. For some reason, I want to go to that hospital. For the, for the I know people are like, what hospital is that? I'd love I'd love to go. But I would love to go to the hospital that gives me whiskey. The whiskey is if you're an alcoholic, I guess. <laughs> This seems like I've researched this. Um, uh, and you're, uh, you can't just stop drinking. Oh, I guess. for the addicts. Okay, yeah, okay. Right. Uh-huh. So really, the blow was more shocking to me for like ear, nose, yeah. and throat surgeries. Like what? Oh this yeah, I can see that. Uh, uh-huh. Air waves. This may be poppycock. I don't know, but I did hear it recently, like in the poppycock. last few days. But. You guys don't have an ear, that. nose, and Coke, doctor? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you get your Coke? Uh, Hospital. Also, Hospital. when your child is eating, when your child is eating, you can just put a little nummy of Coke on there instead oh my of God. just the whiskey. That's, That's fine. So it's fine. Crazy. Dealing oh, with kidding. alcoholics are, it, it's one of the wildest things because, like, patients will just be like, can you give me the sanitizer? And I'm like, oh, God. Why? 
And it's like, I need to clean my hands. And you're like, he's like wigging out. I'm like, you can wash your hands at the sink. I'm not giving you sanitizer. Yeah, I've heard that alcoholics will drink sanitizer. They'll drink a mouthwash. Like Jim anything. Sansel drank a sanitizer. Well, because a, com a comic we know, um, Jake and Louie. Jake is the man. Louie's the puppet. But Jake mm -hmm. used to be a bad alcoholic. And his mom <laughs> took his idea away. And he would just guzzle not like hand sanitizer. He's he's sober now. Congratulations. Everybody get a puppet oh if you're an alcoholic. God. Thank God. But, and then Jim Stansel uh tried some hand sanitizer live at Compound Media, which was a which was probably not the best. Oh no. <laughs> I just don't oh, know how God. it doesn't kill you. I, I know. Like, right? I would think drinking hand sanitizer, you would die. <laughs> but on the plus side, there's think. no bacteria in your mouth after Good point. That's true. <laughs> say that. what is or it? your stomach. <laughs> Rubbing yeah. alcohol is for outside wounds. Drinking alcohol is for inside wounds. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that's really good. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's from Nick Miller on, on fucking New Girl. That show is underrated. Oh, that's so funny. Either way, a amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wow, they, I never thought of that. They really do have to have those. I thought they had something similar for the people that are coming down from like drugs or alcohol. Well, that's why no, I I, it, it's like fatal. Well, if you're just, if you can't just stop drinking like that can, if you're an alcoholic that could just like kill you, I guess. So they have to like give you something. They're like, here, have some Jameson. I don't know. E. Wow. Yeah. I I stopped. All I had to do was become pregnant, and then eventually I did stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good reason. It's a good reason to stop. I think a lot of mothers do do that. Like they'll stop smoking and drinking. Mm. It's a good way to kick a habit. So, mm -hmm. yeah. The I'm irony, of course, wild. being that most of our grandparents smoked, 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 and drank their entire way through their pregnancies. So, oh yeah, and the kids were fine. We well, if I could do that, then maybe I would have a child. But I've actually <laughs> seen, I've actually seen, um, uh, in all of my friends that have had babies, when they go into labor, I know quite a few ladies that while they're in labor, they will have a glass of wine because it helps not only relax your body, which makes labor easier, wow. but I guess it just helps in general. And their doctors are like, yeah, that. a glass is not going to, like, what's the baby's coming out? What's it going to do? Like, it's fine. Yeah. You know, I mean, obviously, if you're not high risk, you don't do that, obviously. But they're like, yeah, oh, yeah, we just need to have, have a glass, glass of, of wine. And, yeah, have a glass of wine, relax your body, relax your mind. And that sounds like, it, like what the ladies in Capri do. Like, it's very yeah. like, European. They're very like, oh, Italian. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. So oh. You know the Italians are like, give me the bottle. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> they want the whole pregnancy, probably. The hospital's not going to yeah. tell you that, but your midwife will, because that's what my yes, midwife will Yes, midwives. Yeah. All the midwife girlies. I will like, in a nice. glass of red to relax the body and help mm -hmm. with the labor. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be doing that, so... Aren't right. you allowed to have one glass of wine a day if you're pregnant or something like that? Isn't that what they what say? The you are. Changed it for some reason. I don't they see why not? Yeah. I've There's so many attend. rules. There's I wouldn't too go many for rules. like the whole like a big huge. You know those like oh I'll just have one glass. It's like a Stanley cup, but you know a little. I can't a see Stanley there. cup. It's fine. You know. You can have one Stanley cup full of wine when you're <laughs> no, just the whole bottle. It's just Anna one gave this to me. Lila gave me my first uh, a white Stanley cup, and then Anna sent me this one, which I brought to the hospital. Mm -hmm. it's so heavy. I kept thinking I was going to clonk the baby's head with it because it's so heavy. <laughs> it's like... I have okay. the Walmart knockoff version. No, the knockoffs are better. I have this. Hydro Ooh, flask like is really good. I love oh, hydro flask. I don't have their cup, but I have their like traditional bottle over there. It's my workout bottle. Do you think like, our grandparents were walking around with huge jugs of water? No. no, they probably didn't drink as much water as we do now. No, or yeah. if they did, it was like actual real water and not water that's full of stuff. not this gay stuff. <laughs> I don't know. We yeah, live on water. catchment, and you're not allowed to drink catchment because you, you can get leprosis. <laughs> yeah, the the frogs are gay. The water makes you gay. I mean, there's so much estrogen That's in why the water. So. Ass. So ass. Yeah, like chemicals in the water from out. Oh, I mean, ass oh my god, <laughs> Frank. Really? <laughs> yay! Back in the day, they just drank water. 
I grew up on well water and I'm like, I think that's why like I never got boobs and shakes. Like I didn't have the extra hormones oh, no, in the city the water. Because well water. <laughs> you didn't have the extra the estrogen in your water. Yikes. Okay, before I know a couple of gals have to go before you no, do. You we, can have, never leave. we have one more <laughs> song. And it is oh about God. X-ray girl She's listening to this. X-ray girl's road trip, her future <laughs> road trip. We'll play it on my way out. <laughs> oh awesome. my god, I love this. Crossing borders. It's a banger. I'm here for it. Free. This sounds like my jam. Free. <laughs> this sounds oh like something god. I listen to the club. What are we at Coachella? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> this is a banger. Chrissy Mayor in New York, gotta see my girl. Laughing all night, taking over the world. Next up, we see ya. Jersey, we gon' rock the stage. We're unstoppable. No gauging for us, X-ray girl. Nope. <laughs> I can't guarantee no that, okay? Where I go, <laughs> I'll always find my way with friends like Dion, Lila, and Tubbs. Oh, hey! The day. Amazing. Listen, all I all I'm gonna say is, X Ray Girl, um, if she decides to come my direction, uh, I will let her poop in my trailer, and she can see what it's like. Yay! Does it have a bidet? I have been spoiled no, it does with my not, bidet. Girly girl, and I we'll love... empty the sink together too. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Yay. No, I don't have it. a bidet either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I've just been spoiled with my toilet. I love my toilet yeah, so much. Listen, yeah, I, listen, I hate to break this to you, but the majority of Americans do not have that. I so, know. Toilet? In Vietnam, Vietnam. <laughs> they have bidets, <laughs> which is wild. We're poor here in America, wait, and we use toilet wait. paper. <laughs> the majority of Americans don't have toilets? Where? Bidets. No, the bidets. A bidet. Water that shoots up your ass. Yeah. I would yeah. like to just put water up my butt. I'd like to see how that feels. It's it, like you know my what? dad has one. It's yeah. like a pressure washer for your anus. I don't like it. it. <laughs> you don't feel clean if you only use toilet paper. No, never. Both. Mm -hmm. Never. Yeah. Sometimes Wet I just Always. hop over to the toilet and just give myself a scrub. You just sit <laughs> to the shower. <laughs> yes. In the shower. <laughs> Wait, what? The shower or the toilet, Lila? And oh, a red stop? I mean the shower. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have in the toilet. <laughs> Are you putting a Mexican shower in your toilet? I was yeah. like, do you poop in your shower? <laughs> That's not a bird bath. <laughs> <laughs> it's my bathtub. It's a UTI bathtub. waiting to happen. <gasps> um, okay, X-ray girl and Tugs and Zia all have to bounce. X-ray girl. I'm so sorry. Tell the no. fine people where they can follow you. What's coming up? Uh, you can find me X-Ray Girl everywhere. Um, but right now I have the real BBC plushies. Uh, if you could share that. Uh, so there's Cthulhu Mahler, Ooh. Peeping Tom Az, Gary of Rivia. And I am so close to being funded. So uh, the wow. more, wow. the more you find. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so very excited. This is on makeshift.com. And uh, yeah, tomorrow uh, on Zia's channel, we're going to be reviewing episode two and three of the finale of Doctor Who season three, which I'm very excited for oh, as well. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So, so thank you very much, Chrissy. Thank you I for coming you. on. Oh, I missed you, X Ray. Yeah, you're doing good things in the world. So. I understand. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me on. What about you? Well, how am I supposed to follow that up? I don't have a plushie. <laughs> but I do have a kick and a twitch, and I'm on Twitter. I mean, you can find them around with these fine ladies and hanging out mm -hmm. and following them and stalking them on Twitter. So um, you can come follow me there. Um, and, yeah, I have four choices with X-Ray Girl on Wednesdays on our YouTube channel and Tuesdays, and that's that's it. Thank you for inviting me, Chrissy. I'm awesome. so happy I was able to Hugs. come. Hugs. Whenever. Wherever. Yeah. We're meant to be together. <gasps> I heard that song in the store today. 
Really? A classic. there and you'll be here. That's no deal. You know, I don't. I don't have a bidet, but I do have a postpartum squirty bottle that I oh, have. Oh, same thing. You just squirt some what, warm water in your in your booty crack, and that's the same thing. I so squirt cold like... water because I'm German, and I'm like, yeah, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't it have helps. time to wait for the warm water, you know? It helps that's tighten the skin. It's fine. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> Does it really? Cold I'll water. You, know, you, you put ice water on your face and stuff to help with swelling. I imagine that would be the same down there. I don't know. I'm like, like, taking ice packs for a week. <laughs> it's it's a hard in the cold, you know. There you go. There you go. We're having fun. Um, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Tugs. And Zia has to bounce as well. Zia, tell Hi. the fine people coming up. Um, Zealand on on Instagram on Instagram on YouTube and OnlyFans and Fansly if you don't want OnlyFans. Um, and tomorrow, yeah, we're doing the the finale season finale at six p.m. Eastern on my channel of Doctor Who season three. The Master is back. This is Extra Girls' first time watching it, so it's really 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 fun. And then Tuesday at eight p.m. Eastern is Zia next Tuesday. And then I'm going out of town for a few days, so I won't be doing the Thursday stream. But there will be lots of new OnlyFans content. Ooh. <laughs> Excited. How are the new boobs settling in? <gasps> They're beautiful. I wish I could flash you. I have to send you a picture because it's been a while and they've settled really nicely. They're very Aww. heavy. Like running up and down stairs. I'm like, oh, that's and they're like getting really, really bouncy. <laughs> <laughs> they're so be bouncy. <laughs> Someone do it. Mine feel really heavy too. They're so yeah. heavy. What's that like? Is that the big heavy. <laughs> I have that problem all the time. Totally. Yeah. They're so heavy. Oh my gosh. Kick it away, heavy. Because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're Should like shaking it? them like you're just wearing like fake boobs. You know, it's like, crazy. Like, I'm so really bouncy. Them. My God. Shake they them really fast. Go oh, as fast as you can. Bouncy. Yes. Quicker. Oh, Let's do it like this. Do it like this. Ah! Oh, that hurts. <laughs> wow. They're, yeah, they're like really, really bouncy. I don't think I've quite gotten <laughs> yet. So like we'll get there. We'll How's get there. the nipple placement? Nipple placement is beautiful. They're in the middle of my breastuses where they're supposed oh, good. to be. Oh, they're they're good. To escape through the top. They were. They were trying to escape the last time. <laughs> they were like, we see the sun. <laughs> but they still looked, even with the wonky nipples, still looked beautiful. I was like, <laughs> you know, wonky nipple. <laughs> Thank oh. you. But I like them. I'm very happy with them. They're they're fun to play with too. They're getting to a point where we can play with them, and that's nice. Yeah, like you, you can play cat. You can take them out and play catch with them, and yeah, <laughs> use them as stress balls. Sometimes I give them to the dog as a chew toy. They're great. What are they? Mm -hmm. Double D? You're bigger than a double D now. No, these are triple Ds now. <laughs> triple D. So that's what an E or an F? Yeah, uh, yeah. You're getting into E, I think, E territory there. Cool. Yeah, like your wild. boobs are so big, you go, e. <laughs> <laughs> I do sometimes. I put things on every once in a while, and I'm like, well, I can't wear this outside. This, uh, this is crazy. <laughs> it's a good problem to have. Good yeah, problem. I'm not hating it. It's nice. Thanks, oh, boobs. You look beautiful. Yay. You look beautiful. Just in time for summer. Summer, ta -ta. Summer boobs. Summer, summer boobs. boobs. Make me feel fun. Yeah. We should have a. I feel like a song about Zia's new boobs is in the works as we speak. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> boobs. Can we call them Tia and Tamara? <gasps> Ooh. They, are they don't have name yet. Names or yet. I Mary love Kate that. Ashley. Or I like um, that. Yeah, the Winkle Voss twins. Boss twins. Um, <laughs> who, are the, who are the twins from Harry Potter? The um, I forget. Fred and George Weasley. Fred and George. <laughs> the Weasley Fred Weasley. The Weasley twins. <laughs> they do seem Weasley. They're very Weasley. Like, and as Keanu was talking about earlier, Keanu, when I was born, my hair was red too, and then it turned blonde. See? Really? And yeah, oh. I was born a redhead, and um, oh. and like my. This area I generally keep shaved, but when I don't, when it grows out, it is a bit reddish still. Yes. What? <laughs> wow. the red must be the Weasley brothers. At twins. They've got to be the Weasley twins. 
<laughs> it's write happening. a song about it. <laughs> right? That's really cool. Gosh, now I'm wondering if I should go get a wax again. Ooh, that'll feel nice. It's like, you know, like getting a fresh shave for the first time in a long time. It's going to feel very nice. But what if it's still squirrely down there? That's they're used to it. Yeah, I feel like they've seen it all. <laughs> they've seen everything. I mean, like, it looks like, I don't think it looks like a wreck down there, but what if it's like still. Like it's going to get into their like gutters and like eat all of the nuts and things or. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? Poorly. I don't know. What if it's still like not, it's time to calm it's, down. It's like still red. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll look at it this week. <laughs> she just yeah. get a mirror. Just take a handheld. Sometimes I look at myself too. <laughs> just say hi. Thank you for taking the D like a champ, little gal. Oh my <laughs> God. You ever just take a, a mirror down there? See what's going I on? I haven't. I just been a bend while. over right in front of the bathroom. I just bend over, check everything, you know, do the look behind, check it all yeah. out. She I used to just it. jump onto the, the bathroom sink like a gargoyle, <laughs> and then I would look at it that way. Is that true? That <laughs> no. Look, I'm not going to lie. I've done something similar to that before. <laughs> yeah, me too. I think it's a universal <laughs> thing. What do you yeah. She's like, don't look at me. Like, it's like a squirrel. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Yeah. Just going weird. <laughs> Holy shit. <clears throat> what a world. Okay. Oh, orange boy. Thank you, Zito. It's cool. All about this for a big lump of dog. I love you, ladies. I love you guys. Can't wait to oh, see my you. Good yeah. yeah. night. I love you. Talk I, Chrissy, you I can't wait. Yeah, I talk to you soon. I can't wait to see you and Bean. <gasps> yes, soon. Yeah, of course. Obviously, let me know when you're ready. I know it's like so overwhelming, and Bean's not supposed they, to see anyone new for a while. But they say like, they say to wait. Like I think it's at least a month because he's not. Yeah, dead. he's not going to be vaccinated i think with anything so uh right and none of us have pertussis so you don't have to worry <laughs> oh my god yes, i actually got pertussis when i was 16 and i was fucked up for like three months it was really gnarly if you come really? over and you're whooping even a little bit i'm gonna send you right back out <laughs> you're whooping your ass right out of here <laughs> yeah like of course it's whooping cough there's no whooping Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Bye, right. guys. I love Bye, you. See yeah. you. Bye. Bye. Oh, Bye. She couldn't days. last. She couldn't last eight more minutes. See ya. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> I've been not. doing these arm exercises. Oh, like Do this? Too. Okay, it's a five-minute exercise. It's really not okay. So, so okay, now. let's do it. I'll leave the class. So make sure you, okay. first you make your wrist go in and out like this. Okay. Ten of like those. Four? Yeah. Like this. Like now this. everyone whoop. Whoop. Okay. Whoop. Now <laughs> arm circles. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, This feels four, like a trick. Six, 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 okay. Other way around. Ten. Oh, nine, this is like a water nine, aerobics six, class. Seven, eight, nine, ten. With then, old people. I used to work with old people and do this too. <laughs> Arm forward like that. Is it bad that this is like I'm actually winded from this? I know I'm about to pass okay. away. Stretch. <laughs> okay, now bend the arms. Okay. okay. And together with the oh. elbows. Oh, oh I take jazz or size. Elbows. Oh my god, I really feel it. It's good. It is good. Uh, Did you come up with this yourself? Yeah, I'm making it up. It's good. Okay. Now, arms out. Jesus, I really feel Circles. it. Swimming. Swimming, swimming, swimming. Swimming, swimming, swimming. And then arms forward, up, push down. Forward, Ooh. up, push down. This feels like posture exercises. This is like what yeah. my mom does. Isn't it <laughs> awesome? And the, you do that every day for like five minutes, and it really yeah. makes a big a big yeah. deal, the, especially yeah. the circles. It's supposed to help with this. Oh, yeah. I got uh, that. There's a video that I follow. Ooh. But I, made, I added my own little thing. This one. This one. Oh, that's a good one. No. I hope yeah. everyone at home is doing this, too. 
<laughs> oh, okay. Every little bit helps. Every little bit, like five together. Minutes. This Every one's the work. hardest. Put your arms together like this, and then pump it. We'll do this for twenty seconds. <laughs> Keep it together like this. Has it been twenty seconds? Nine, eight. Let seven, me guess. Six, five. I feel like I'm jerking myself off. We're praying. Yeah. Now, now put both your elbows and have them touch behind your back now. <laughs> yeah. oh. That was okay. fun. It's disturbing how, how uh, out of breath I am from that. I feel like I'm the highlight <laughs> of the show. Uh. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm actually oh, sore God. from that. But look, it's working. I have this line. Look at that. You're cut. Oh I've been I've been doing it and I've been doing like a two minute plank to help with my digestion. Ooh, it's working. Help. That's really that's good. That's stuff for you is planks and your own body weight, all that stuff. That's the best stuff for yeah. you. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I feel like weights end up I end up getting hurt, so I'll just do my own body weight. Yeah, it's better. My mom teaches aerobics. She can do that with ten pound weights in her hands. And every time I go, I say I refuse to go now because this is ridiculous. They all shame me. <coughs> I'm like a limp noodle. And they're all like, Keanu, you can't lift a one pound weight. I'm like, no, this hurts. It's, uh, <laughs> but it's all Your that. Your mom's like, jacked, though. Your mom's got great arms. She is. She really is. Yeah. yeah good but I am too embarrassed. I got the so. shake weight. Ooh, Ooh, that's great. Yes. Ooh, do it. Yes. <laughs> Keep yes, doing yes, it. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> does, a does a liquid come out at the end? Yes. It moved. <laughs> Everyone's oh, alright. Wow. Like that was like just joking. <laughs> it still exists. Okay, yeah. It's hard to make, make it even. Like your shoulders look great too. I've been. I'm telling you, it's from the this woman, air wow. swimmer. I'm gonna be okay. air swimmer. Because you the um in the workout that's five minutes, you hold your arms up the whole time for five minutes like this. Just so Which everyone really knows, this is my sweater, not my arm. <laughs> this yeah. is my actual skin. Yeah. If you if you hold it long enough, it really starts to burn. Oh yeah. What's this move called? <laughs> College. <laughs> yeah. Sadness. <laughs> <laughs> Or <laughs> Tommy's like, I'm not this night, but not partaking. <laughs> like I'm a lady. You know? I'm like, I have five. I, I have five beers here. I can't be a. Uh, I can't lie. I love. Oh, what okay. kind of beers? Uh, just light ones. A uh, grapefruit shandy, the leaning cool with grapefruit shandy. Yeah, those are light. Like, that's good. A little fruity. A little fruity. Sam. Speaking of beer, Sam Adams says left. Mecca, lecca, high, right, mecca, hiney, ho. Hmm. I don't understand this. Thank you. Mecca, lecca, high, right? mecca, hiney, ho. Oh, yeah, that yep. sounds familiar. Sisters of Bacon, Sia should hold an auction. Whoever donates the most gets to name her boobs. I recommend it at least a $25 minimum bid. Oopsie, I should have read this while she was still here. Thank you, Bacon Sisters. Wow. What a night. What I can't believe I, I can't believe the bean was on Simcast. Oh my god! Oh, so cute. He said a little smush. His he couldn't hold his head up. He was like, <laughs> "Oh, he's so cute, Chris. He is so cute." And he does a little um newborn scrunch, isn't that? Yeah, fun? he's like, yeah. We had him on his stomach today for the first time, like a tummy time thing. He fucking lifted. He took his head like this. He lifted it all the way up and then put it all the way back down like that. Nice. It's crazy. He's strong. He's already strong. Yeah. Oh my god. He, he's he so can little do the though. arm exercises soon. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that with him. Well, all right. Goodbye, Keanu. Um, <laughs> when's the second one coming, Chrissy? Oh my god. I have no. I can't even fathom that right now. <clears throat> They're gonna have to bust through the stitches. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! What a show, girls! This was so fun. Show kids. What a fun time! I kind of like this dim lighting. I, I prefer this actually. Ooh. Um. Okay, I'm gonna go check on the bean again. Cat, what's coming up for you? Where can people find you? Okay, so my 
my handle there. That's my social handle on all the platforms. And uh, the thing that's coming up for me is I'm uh, helping promote the Reclaiming My Country conference in June, where we have a whole bunch of speakers like Dr. Dr. Drew Pinsky, Dr. Like Ella, a whole bunch of freedom loving people. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm helping to volunteer to promote that. So that's, that's what I'm doing. And when is that again? It's in June. It's oh, in, yeah. uh, on the West coast in Canada. It's kind of like, it's going to be something similar to what Jordan Peterson is doing with the arc kind of Ooh. like Alliance for responsible, uh, citizenship meets like take back our country from the commies kind of thing. So Lauren Southern is going to be there. Lauren Chen, like a whole bunch of speakers. All the Laurens. I love it. Oh. Yeah. Sounds good. Forest Mommy, what's coming up for you? Not much. Just Forest Mommy. I'm just fighting local politics here and having fun with it. Dunking on Not the comedy. So. just fighting local. It's a big deal. Yeah. It's a lot of fucking work. That's for sure. So, yeah. But that's it. But I have fun on Twitter. So, follow me on Twitter. You're yeah. crushing it. We're all crushing it. Lila, how was your hey. show? Oh, the show was so fun. It was so good. It was great. I okay. did. I, I had a lot of shows this weekend, so I yeah, did crushing it. a lot of fun stuff at Austin, Texas. I will be there on Friday uh, at the Vulcan, hosting for Alex Stein, and I'm uh, probably going to do some podcasts, so Ooh. Look, I'll be going to be on the Drinking Bros on Friday. Oh, good. I was just going to say. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm with Leonardo. So oh, fun. Oh, that's going to be great. Premiere. I love those guys. That's going to yeah, be so they are great. Awesome. So, are you gonna do late night Lila after I this? Just came to say you want to. Should I jump? You want to jump on for us, mommy? I'll do it if you want to come on. Yeah, if you want to keep going a little bit. Okay. Ooh. Yes. And then we'll. I'll turn it on. Perfect. Okay, we'll do it. We don't yes. have to go on. Let's do it. At least then. Okay. I love it, Kiki <laughs> Thompson. Where can people oh. find you? Oh, just uh, Keanu C. Thompson Instagram, Twitter. Did she freeze? She's frozen. I thought she was being she's being dramatic. Frozen. <laughs> All right. Um, wet spot is tomorrow, just like it is every Monday on Compound Media at 7 p.m. I will be jumping in, but of course I am still on maternity leave. So Mr. Jim Stance will be guest hosting. Um, Rich Carucci and adult film star Honey Bunny will be on. So at 7 p.m. tomorrow on compoundmedia.com. And, um, yeah, maybe I'll try to stream here and there, but it's unpredictable right now because I am a milk truck. Uh, thank you guys for watching Simcast. We will see you all next time. We love you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.